from E. Espinoza, subject, the Montana raid. Hello again. Sorry about how long it took me to write you back. This isn't the easiest thing to discuss for a variety of reasons, and honestly, I'm really just looking to put it all behind me. Regarding your question about Astros' involvement in the raid on the compound, I can confirm that he was present, although he was in no way working alongside the FBI. The Bureau lists this sort of thing as a dragon event in reports. Officially, the Red Dragon descended as we were about to start the raid, entered the compound, and began to level it from inside out. Unofficially, it was a massacre. The bodies of the cult members were variously impaled, incinerated, splattered against walls, just torn completely apart. There was nothing surgical or targeted about it, and I wouldn't dream of speculating on the motivations of dragons, but it almost seemed like he enjoyed what he was doing. I'll never forget his eyes. We weren't entirely sure what was even there, or or why, excuse me, we weren't even entirely sure why he was there or how he knew about what was going on with the cult. Much of the building, frankly, was utterly obliterated. Whatever they were doing in there, we can only speculate. A team was put together to try and sift through the ashes. I'll see if I can try and, I'll try and see if I can put you in touch with someone who was part of that case. Regarding your question about the fate of any of the missing children, I'm afraid that information is classified. Regards, Special Agent Ava Espinoza, retired. An excerpt from Lost Children, The Terrifying Truth Behind Montana's Most Infamous Cult by Katya Antonova. We open on an exterior shot of the uh, campus's on-site medical building. Uh, it's not an especially interesting or pretty. It's, it's a very, um, not brutalist, but very workmanlike uh, kind of building. It's several stories tall. There's students as ever, as there constantly is any time the sun is up at Firebrand Academy, there's students and, and faculty kind of milling in and out of the entryway and the, uh, the, the gentle, ever-present hum of floating uh, referees moving in and out. Uh, and we push in through one of the windows uh, and into one of the hallways. Sitting uh, in this hallway, um, and imagine any hospital hallway. It's white, there's, you know, uh, obnoxious, uh, oh, what's it called? That, that, that humming, uh, crappy lighting. Oh, uh, fluorescence. Yeah. Fluorescence, there's crappy fluorescence, you know, a tile floor, benches seated along the wall, and seated in these seateds uh, are a, a large number of students actually are, are kind of lined up along uh, the walls, three of whom are our three, uh, the team members of Team 666, waiting as they are for their uh, number to be called to head into an office that's just down the hallway uh, all morning, the... Uh, the nurse of the school has been conducting a number of um, exams, essentially, of the uh, entire incoming student body. Uh, this is perfectly normal and totally reasonable, but it's a lot of students to get through. And uh, this uh, today, uh, the 600 block, uh, it's, it's, it's their turn. So the three of you have been sitting there and waiting for, let's roll some dice. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Okay, it hasn't been it hasn't been super long. It's only been about 20 minutes. You got lucky. I rolled low. Uh you've been the three of you have been waiting for about 20 minutes this morning. And you are currently continuing to wait. Oh no. What is everyone doing while they wait? Uh Xandra has her notebook open from notes in class, especially the one that uh she had fucked up the answer to. Oh, oh. Oh, honey. And is has been uh, going over the notes religiously. <laughs> and is possibly still doing it now. You haven't seen her without either the notebook or the textbook in her hands, at least until the next test. Uh, Zandra on the, uh, on, on the other side of Zandra, as May's trying <laughs> to, like, she's in a headstand against the wall, and she's like, just put, put the extra books that you're not using on my feet. I want to see how many I can pass. We're just read for oh, it's like a podium. Someone, come on! I want to see how many. 
Dandra will go into her bag and actually just start taking out books. And instead of putting it on her foot, she just starts piling them on, on top of Esme's head while oh, still looking at the... It's a handstand! Look! Oh. She wiggles her legs. See, if you were looking or paying any attention, you would have noticed. <clears throat> I just start putting the books on top of her feet. Shh. I am reading. Yeah, what are you reading? Um, it looks like his notebook, but if you peek over his shoulder, it's the most recent. Um, it's the most recent magazine of um Maximum Impact. Oh my god! <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Good luck running the show without me. <laughs> And now it becomes the detailed exploration of Maximo's works. Yes. It's <laughs> essentially a print... I have to update my fucking notes. It is a essentially a printed Patreon feed. Wow. It occasionally is suggestive. So it's only fans. It's occasionally oh, so this is like a fan work. This isn't like a oh, it's a fan sign, a hundred percent a fan sign. You said sign. Okay. He may Maximum have submitted a, a few a articles team. in the past. That was gonna take a drink. Were any of them accepted? <laughs> hey, yeah. No. Oh. Were any were any of them erotic in nature? <laughs> no. Okay. It's just that his English is is not print worthy. Right, oh, right, right. It, it's a little, it's a little sketchy. Right, yeah. right, right. He tries though. It's one of his ways of trying to learn English. Oh, my heart. He's too sweet of a boy. He's getting there. Um, Xandra would look over his shoulder, see it, and then immediately look back, and the notebook's like over her face. <laughs> uh, Esme, um, at at some point, uh. You see, like, sneakers and the very bottom of uh, green scrubs as a, a gentleman, like, leans down and his, his head kind of comes down to your level and says, Um, miss, are, are you okay? Yeah. Um, she, she, like, crunches her legs in with trying to balance the books without dropping them. Do you have any books you want to add? No. No, could, um, could you not do, do what you're doing that's in the hall, please? Um, no, actually, fuck yourself. She, like, straights her, le her legs out. I'm having fun here. I have to, I've been waiting here for 20 minutes. I didn't pack a book. Do you know how boring this is? Okay. Oh, I, I have another copy if you wish to read. Oh. I brought uh, two, just in case it was oh, a long wait. The same book? No. Yeah, <laughs> hi, okay. Magazine. Excuse Maximum me, hi. exposure. <laughs> <laughs> That's the official one. What is on the cover of Maximum Exposure? Yeah, you know, like, I. <laughs> Do I, I just know, drop all the books this... because it opens to a really suggestive page? <laughs> I need to know what this nurse just saw after being told to go fuck himself. <laughs> Because I need to know how to react to what's happening. Because <laughs> she will absolutely it's, just drop everything if it's like... It is It is abs. a very tasteful uh, beach volleyball scene. I don't know what that means. It's maximum exposure. It's, <clears throat> it is a, a magazine that uh, goes into the personal life of Maximo. Exposing him to the world so that he is more approachable by all. Give me that. <laughs> what? Well, Xandra's really into Maximum. She won't say it, and she's like curling her legs half down. Of this shit is wrong, right? <laughs> that is that is very adorable. Uh, it is. Uh, if you notice, uh, he turns it to the front page. Maximum is an editor. Oh, that fucking explains it. <laughs> Hand it back to him. <clears throat> she holds. Do, the do you want to describe here. him, or should I? <laughs> Because now we have to describe what he looks like because we've just seen him playing beach volleyball. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. You're welcome to, but I can do it. 
I, I'm trying to figure out how to do this without just <coughs> pulling up the picture on my phone. and Fundoshi Beach Volleyball. Man, no, come on. <laughs> Be kind. All right, so <laughs> Maxwell Sinclair. Uh, he is he's a very large, very well bemuscled man. He's a, he's, a, he's a larger gentleman, got a very strong jaw. Uh, what I presume to be is that a line of stubble just along the edge of his chin? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, he's got a little bit of a line of stubble there. Um, these big, big honking eyebrows that just kind of jut inward in a very like, hey, I'm super intense and not very approachable, but you know, I'm hot shit. The man, like, it's amazing. Every photograph in that book, he's always got just a little bit of a shit-eating grin on his face. Just a little, like, <laughs> yeah, I know I'm the best. Even when he's looking at nobody, just, like, <laughs> looking off into the distance, he's like, I'm pretty fucking incredible. <laughs> uh, his his hair is, uh, it's black and it's straight, like uh, like his daughter's is, but far, far shorter. Uh, there's these gi- this giant, like, spike of hair down the front that kind of like sticks off. One, Very reminiscent one, of that. One side bang. Uh, and the back of his head is just like a, a protagonist collection of <laughs> of hedgehog spines that like curve out and backwards. Uh, Aggressive if, man bun. Yeah, like as if to suggest like, hey, um, oh God, I really wanted to make a deep cut on, as if to say like, hey, Haomaru, you ain't <laughs> shit. The people who played Sam show out there. Uh, mm. Question: Considering that I know that this this um, reference piece is a bit of a composite, does he have all of these amazing scars? I actually left them in, and I didn't get rid of them because I was just like, yeah, he would have scars. He has an amazing collection of impressive scars. Like somehow they serve only to accentuate his completely hairless and strangely oiled chest. <laughs> Um, There's nothing strange about the oiling of the beach. The muscles are chiseled into this boy like some kind of marble Adonis, and and like these these huge raking claw marks and and small gashes and cuts, occasional puncture. You know, it's not not quite like a Vash the Stampede level of like, oh god, I'm covered (laughs) in horrible scars. It's more just like I've seen sexy battle. Someone cut off my shirt. A few run down his arms as well. And because you can see them, his thighs and shins. He, uh, <laughs> on the particular page it's open to, he is mid spike right at the, the net with his back arched and his, his hand outstretched above him, sweat glistening off of his brow as, as the, the sun uh, beats down upon him and there's, there's uh, sand getting kicked up everywhere and the people on the other side of the net are so completely out of focus, who cares what they're doing? Yeah. Why are you looking at them? <laughs> it is uh, quarterly, so this was summer edition. <laughs> the, <everything>. nurse, <laughs> the nurse like looks at his, his little clipboard that he's carrying, looks at the three of you and says, you know what? I don't have time for this. Uh, points at Esme, you. Off the wall, watch your mouth. What's wrong with you? Uh, points at um, uh, uh, Artyom, you do not bring that into the medical facility. You shouldn't even have that on campus. Why? But I don't it have is, time. It is simply periodical. I didn't see it. I don't know what's going on here. Just <laughs> don't, just don't, okay? <laughs> he tries to look at Sandra. I'm sorry. And he leaves. Because <laughs> he knows. He knows the three of you are stuck together. <laughs> what a stick in the butt. She just hands the books back over. Coming down the hallway. The the doorway into that that uh, the, the nurse's area opens. Uh, and uh, from it emerges um, a pair of familiar faces and one that we don't we've never actually seen before. Uh, you see uh, leading the trio of your uh, your neighbors, actually, Team 664, uh, you see Montgomery Evans, who it occurs to me I did not actually describe last time we saw him, but he was the he was the kid that came in at the very end of the episode. We have uh, vague, is... vague pictures. We got vague yes. descriptions. Yes. He's a very, yes, he's a very vague boy, honestly. Um, that's the kind of the, the most noteworthy thing about him is that he's not terribly noteworthy. Uh, as he walks out, he's, uh, well, he's he, he's a male. Um, he's, uh, got short black hair with a bit of a side part. You know, it's very kind of neatly, one might almost say professionally cut. Um, he is wearing just very plain wire rim, uh, glasses. Um, he's about 
average height. Um, you know, his uh, got very unassuming, boring brown eyes. Um, he's just kind of this white bread dude walking along um, with a very, you know, pleasant, pleased expression on his face. You know, just kind of do to do walking along. Uh, next to him, uh, clearly very relieved to be leaving this whole area, uh, you recognize uh, Vicky, the uh, the girl that uh, Artyom uh, bumped into who, yeah, uh, there was going to be a bit of a fight, and then there wasn't, and Artyom had to teach somebody a lesson. She's there. And then what you presume to be uh, their third as yet unseen uh, team member, uh, whose name you do not have. Uh, yes, but... we do. Oh, you do? Yes. Lee was out. That's right, Lee. Sick. Yes, you do have Lee. This is who you presume to be Lee. Uh, she has uh, very dark skin. She's got uh, her hair uh, kind of pulled back into like uh, dreadlocks, essentially, like this very short kind of puffy dreadlock thing on the top of her head. Um, she's carrying... I was about to say weirdly. It's like, no, it's Firebrand Academy. It's not weird to see her walking around and she's got a rapier kind of stuck to her hip. Uh, stuck to her hip. It's on a, you know, it's on a scabbard. Uh, she's carrying along and she's just, she's just as cheerful as can be. And she is chatting away uh, at, at Vicky as the three of them uh, kind of leave the, uh, the, the, the area. Uh, Montgomery uh, walks up to the three of you and is like, ah, uh, I believe you're next. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, friend Montgomery. Great. <laughs> he just kind of nods and heads on his way um, as they're walking by, like, Lee kind of waves, just like, hey. Um, Vicky glances over at RTM and then, like, like kind of looks, looks at it and just kind of, like, looks away in a very, like, mm -hmm. as if she's trying to hide something a little bit. In fact, uh, if anybody wants to, they can absolutely give me a, a standard, was that be scrutinized test? Uh, fail. Yeah. Succeed. Success. Yeet. Sandra's still uh, dissociating from <laughs> magazine. <laughs> Artyom and Esme both notice that uh, she smiles ever so slightly and blushes just a little bit as she's walking away. Ooh. Trying to avoid eye contact with Artyom. Maybe she has fever. No, yeah, in her pants for you, Artie. <laughs> that, that makes no sense. Oh, well, we have appointment now. Let us go. You head down the hallway. Pushing through the door uh, into the room, it's... <coughs> so, imagine if you will, uh, it, it's kind of like a CAT scan machine uh, in that it's like a big tube, but it's standing up on its end. So like a, like a big half cylinder set of rings uh, standing up in the middle of the room, well, large enough that like more than enough room that a, that a person could stand inside of it. Uh, and it is it is attached to this like just gargantuan like much like a cat scan machine like it's it's just attached to this huge chunk of uh very industrial looking scientific equipment that then is clearly feeding out a bunch of wires and spinning it out to a small computer terminal um there's not much else in the room honestly there's a, a window the shades have been kind of drawn down a little bit uh there's like some cabinets uh general like medical examination room kind of stuff sitting in this room as I do to do to do, is a woman. Actually, hmm, with her. No, for her, okay, yeah, for her it wouldn't be this. <laughs> so sitting in the room, uh, in uh, on a um, one of those little like stools, there's no back, just a little black stool, is a do to do, a very slender woman with uh, shoulder length blue hair. Um, she wearing a lab coat, actually, coincidentally. Uh, which she's wearing over a uh, a pale pink blouse. She's got like a light gray pencil skirt on. Um, the thing of note about her, however, is that she's got these two small horns that are swept back and sticking out of her hair. Um, and her eyes are a very light gray color. Like they're not, they don't quite fade into the whites of her eyes, but they are very, very, very light. And... 
there's something about being in her presence that is not as disquieting as uh, the day you arrived here and stood in front of Memneth, mm. who was very much like these things, this, this, this alien thing is regarding us. Yeah, I, um, I, I believe is... the uh, actual phrase was being stared at like a fish in a fishbowl. Yes. <laughs> you, do, you don't quite get that, that impression, but it is still sort of that same energy of like, you are standing in a room with someone for whom it would be trivial to end your life. So there's like that sort of low key tension, but no malice to it. Hmm. It's like, it's like sitting in the room with a friendly bomb. <laughs> because that's what it's like to be in the presence of one of the three dragons. Uh, this, as you are all keenly aware, because everybody on the planet knows her name, uh, this is Praleon, and she is your school nurse. Ah. Yes. Team 666. Excellent. You're here. Uh, so what we're going to have you do is one at a time. We just need to have you step over here into this device. Uh, we are going to be measuring the output of your battlefields today to get an idea of the arms you're capable of generating. Uh, any of you have I... any questions before we begin? Do I need to remove metal before getting in that? Mm, no. Good. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, I only have two arms. I cannot generate two more. I do not think. I was going to ask if it was going to hurt, but I feel like now it's definitely going to. <laughs> uh, to answer those in reverse order, um, no. It's not going to hurt in the slightest. You won't, in fact, feel anything whatsoever. This is like an eye exam. But for your inner fire, your uh, RTM. Yes. No. Um, hmm. I guess they didn't explain to you what an arm is. Uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're very close. She kind of like uh, rolls her chair uh let's see there wouldn't be like a board in here yeah no we'll, we'll say that there is she just she takes a pen and like um uh there's there's like a small um whiteboard that's got like a bunch of important looking crap on it and she just wipes it off <laughs> 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 whatever was on there she just whatever it's not important so arm she writes arm is an acronym it's short for aura resonance metrics Every time that no someone utilizes, <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I only know one of those words. Metric? Yes. <sighs> Everyone okay. uses um, metric. Okay. Inner fire, yes? Yes. Hey. Okay. Um, how much you have and how it can be, uh, how, how, how big your inner fire is. Ah, yes. We're going to take a little measurement of that. See, when <clears throat> for the other two, or and possibly just you there in the red tie, uh, battlefields are what are generated when people manipulate their inner fire. We can then measure those battlefields. That generates an arm measurement. They're rated on a color band from red to blue. Let's get started, shall we? Yes, let's get started. Um, what we have first here. Uh, you know what? Um, perhaps it would be best, uh, RTM, if, if if you maybe to show the others that this is this is just fine. We're just going to need you to to step step in just step inside that ring. Do I have to do this? Because I I was actually already told about this, and I thought that I didn't have to do it anymore. Uh, I don't know who would have told you that, but uh, no, this is this is mandatory for everyone coming into the school. No. Don't worry, it's not going to be like me with needles. There no, there's no needles. needles. There won't be any needles. It's boring. You go Actually, first. She's, uh, uh, Praleon smiles. Oh, geez. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm just bunching things. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, well, there will be no pain unless you create some for yourself for which the school is not liable or responsible. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, Artyom. Uh, I I have a, a curiosity. How does this machine deal with uh, 
the pacemakers. I shouldn't affect them in the slightest. Do you have a pace? <laughs> she like picks up the pet, like <laughs> like a like a an iPad. It just starts like swiping through it. You have a pacemaker? No, no. My parents are uh, doctors as well, and they always told me when uh, going into machines such as this to to ask things like that. It is good to know how machine operates. No, um. Uh, oh dear. Um. So, how to explain this simply? Uh, she actually seems a little flustered, which is a little, a little weird. And um, <laughs> you swear you can see like her little horns kind of like wiggle a little bit, just in like uh, in consternation as she furrows her brow. Would you like me human to go language first is to so imprec- You know what? Yes, that would be fantastic. Let's let's have you go first, uh, Zandra. Oh, Sinclair. Yeah. Yes, it is strange, correct? She has same last name as Maximov. Don't tell him. I feel very fortunate. Please don't tell him. She just kind of quietly nods at you, Zandra. <laughs> very strange indeed. Um, anyway, uh, you just, all, all I need you to do is step inside, and I'm going to go over here to this computer for a moment, all right? Mm-hmm. I'll uh, go over and I'll, I'll stand in the rings. Very thankful I don't need to remove the metal from my body because I don't think I'd be able to stop finding needles in my coat lining or in the braces I have. <laughs> oh, on. no, no. I thought yeah, you, this... you were going to talk about your bones or something, but okay. That's no, to... not, not, I am not X-23. What? I will hold for you. Not, Jackie uh, that, goes with me. That's uh, not necessary. I step into the, the rings. Mm. That's nice. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's... Um... You Xandra, you'll understand this. It's it's basically like mm-hmm. it's like pointing a um a thermometer at something. You're just getting a, a temperature reading. That's all. I've okay. seen these done before. So, uh, actually, you almost certainly have. This, oh. this none of this is new to you. You 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 totally. This kind of thing is very very normal. So. I'm a gauge draker. Uh, I heard something else. that's terrible. It shut up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She goes over and starts tackety tackety tacking on the the keyboard. Um, inside uh, the rings, there's uh, you can see that there's like these little blue lines uh, that one by one kind of light up from from ceiling to floor as it goes do 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 do, and then like the machine kind of starts to let off this first a very gentle hmm humming noise, which then starts to kind of build a bit into a much louder like mm, as it increases in pitch a bit in tone. It doesn't get to be deafeningly loud, but it's you know it's like a really like a not quite super loud copy machine just kind of this this that level of volume uh praleon after a moment says okay so what i'm going to need you to do tack 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 is uh just however it is that your particular art manifests i just need you to concentrate as much as you can to try to flex that inner fire uh we want to try and get as, as high of a measurement as we can from you at, at that from you from a rest state. Hmm. Human words are so imprecise. So what, what do you, you do to, to kind roll? of try and hmm? do you need me to roll anything or potentially? I'm curious how she would try to and and for that, it's like and don't be shy. Anything you need to do, I have seen just the strangest things today. So you're you're just fine to, to shout or 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 punch things or. You it's know, actually, yell at your father, whatever you need to do. As much as I would like to do that, I've realized after I turned seven that that really doesn't work for anything. Oh. Uh, Seems oddly specific. Today. Right? What happened at seven? Will you tell us later? Nope. Uh, Xandra just closes her eyes for a moment and then opens them again, and it it kind of looks like sparks, but not from a regular fire, but from an electrical fire. Like, it's that red and orange tinted, because the way I did my my critical art was it looks like the nerve endings come out of the hand, like their own needles, but they're shaped more like uh, lightning bolts. Whoa. So it's like the uh, the nerve endings on the arms and the hands tend to, they they glow a bit. Okay. And, uh, just kind of let off a weird crackling noise. Okay, uh, go ahead and give me a standard uh, focused check. Stay in Perfectly the it's a in new the box. box. It's fine. No. Two as a six. I succeed. 
26. Okay. I'm going to remove all these. So you're going to, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, excellent, excellent. Let me just make some quick notes here. Uh, yeah, could you, uh, a bit more please, is basically what she says. Uh, I'd like you to make the same test, but now it is at uh, challenging. Or wait, hang on, sorry, hard. Hard is the second one. A hard focus test. Mm. Oh, okay. Negative 20. Uh. Uh, that is a 21. I still succeed. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, that crackling energy of yours, I, I, I think, uh, gets just a bit more intense. It starts to get a little bit louder. It arcs out slightly to the the rings on the inside that like started as blue. You see them kind of starting to cycle through a handful of different colors. Uh, and then like flash like one at a time from top to bottom just do 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 in this weird like colorful light show as you're kind of like lighting the area up interesting i see okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's pretty and i can't hear you between Any... the humming and the crackling <laughs> yeah uh finally i'd like you to give me one more focus uh this time at arduous uh we're great cheers. Squad. This is We're fine. Great. 18, I succeed. Okay. Uh like and the, the machine, the humming for like a split second gets really loud, and then the whole machine just kind of zooms down into quiet. And she kind of like wheels back a bit in her um her stool and just nods like, hmm. Okay, these are the results about that uh, we would have expected. Uh, she looks you, you know, considering. Uh, thank you. Yes, you. Uh, it's very impressive. Uh, the low end of the orange band is very high for a freshman coming in uh, first year. That's uh, you have a lot to be proud of. Learned it all myself. <laughs> mm. As a. Uh, well and once it powers down, Xandra's uh, coat, which had started to go up from the uh, static electricity of it, because things just start mm, going yes. out, just flutters he, back down. He's just thumbs up. From... I poke you and it shocks you yeah. as I walk out. <laughs> Is your beard fluffy now, please? <laughs> uh, oh, you walk out of the room? No, I walk out of the, the tube thing. Oh, 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 sorry. Yes, out of the tube thing. Very impressive. <laughs> Hey, you do you the see? Sinclair name proud. Maximum would be very happy to have you as part of the family. Be surprised. Oh, honey. <laughs> I uh, will go next. Yeah, I, th I think you that would be for the best, yes. <laughs> proud to have you in this family. He walks in. <clears throat> uh. All right, uh, one moment, please, while I take a second to calibrate thing. The humming begins again, the lights start to come back on. Um, she stops for a second and the, you, you, you see, you hear her and see her stop typing for a moment. And then she just kind of like looks over at RTM and squints and goes back down to her typing again. Um, uh, yes, as, as with uh, Xandra, if you could just uh, channel your inner fire for me. Hmm. Please. He uh, stands, feet shoulder width apart, takes a deep breath, drawing his hands up to his chest, and then he big takes a big sweeping right foot out into an <laughs> arched horse stance as he brings his hands down and doesn't shout, but just lets out just a shoo as he focuses as much as he can. Fantastic. Uh, give me a standard uh, focus roll. Yeah. That's a 15. That'll do it. Oh, yeah. She kind of, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay, good. We've established a baseline. And she, you just, she kind of starts to trail off as she's talking and just... Uh, yeah. Um, a, a push a bit more, please. Uh, tap, tap, tapping away. Um, and... <clears throat> may, may I ask favor of friends? Yeah. Go into my uh, bag. Get uh, 
copy of Maximum Exposure, please. I need inspiration. We were told not to bring that to the nurse's office, though. I'm going to look at Praleon. I really apologize. This hurts me more than it hurts you. Page six. <laughs> Xandra's going to reach into Artyom's bag and grab Maximum Exposure and just kind of, without looking, count out the number of pages to six <laughs> and then just hold it up towards Artyom's yes. too. <laughs> It's 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 an image of him um doing a Ginyu pose essentially. Is it the one where Ginyu's like got his butt to us and he's no. bent over? No, 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 no. It's 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 the one where he's uh um No, it's not the calendar. He's, That's different. He's pointing to the ground with both hands, but he's got his Everything is flex uh, uh, appropriately, and his uh, his uh, uh, Oyadon is behind him doing uh, appropriate support poses as well. His cheer squad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you know that would have been. Oh, I'm I'm gonna cut you some slack. This is only gonna be a challenging focus test. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, because you've got inspiration. So as Pray Pray looks over, they she she just she, sees Xandra dissociating. <laughs> she just she glances over and it's just fascinating. Type, 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 he type, looks type, type, he type, looks type. again and just and does basically the same motion. Yeah, and like this time we see like the 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 wind smoke kind of like whoosh, that anime like wind is coming off of somebody who's charging up kind of uh, animation just poof the room some papers rustle. Uh, no, he does not make that. He does not make that. Nope. Okay. He's distracted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Huh. <laughs> uh, and, and, uh, the machine, she, she hits a few buttons and this machine kind of starts to wind down, um, as you're sitting there, like, flexing your best flexing. <laughs> For Sandra's uh, poor mental damage. Thanks, Leo. <laughs> yeah. Like um, that a point of fortune because it's five hundred. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, yeah, you are. We're up to six. Oh, we're up to six. Yeah, Gooly tossed me one. <laughs> or team nonsense. <laughs> she kind of gets up like before the machine's even finished coming, uh, rolling down. She stands up from the uh her little stool and like comes over to you, RTM, and like just comes up to where you are in the uh uh in the tube thing. <laughs> You're like mid like flex. And she just kind of that's a that that's enough that's good um oh. and then oh, thank God I close the book and I go to put it back in the... and reaches over to take your hands like in hers do you let her yeah okay she does and she kind of turns them over and looks at the palms and stares at them for a minute and then kind of just like looks up at you. With this very confused look in her eye. Did did I not uh, did I not perform well? And she kind of puts her hands together. You did perfectly. Thank you. Oh. And steps aside, and then just very pleasantly turns towards Esme. When you're ready, and goes back over to her computer 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 terminal. Are you okay? Yes, I'm. I am fine. It is your turn. Do well all by dinner tonight. Do you want do you want a picture of Maximum to be held up for inspiration as well? I mean there is the dessert section in the back and um like the advertisement that fell out. I know which one. And he goes back, gets another gets a, a, a separate magazine. This one's maximum lifestyle. Oh my god. Opens it up. I hate this! <laughs> You're the best for the record. Fan. I can't uh, you have a crush on my father. There's a picture. Everyone does. News there, break, honey. There, there's a picture yeah, of it's it's Maximum and his and his Oidon mm -hmm. um um baking. And they have uh uh they've got nice aprons on. And uh they're currently frosting a cake. And 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 this is this is very good one. You do not see him act so vulnerable. See, he has icing on nose. Oh, no one's ever still seen him with five o'clock shadow. 
So Sandra, if I do if I do really well, you'll get us all this the maximum cake. I just heard my wife laugh. <laughs> oh, that's a review. <laughs> I don't know if I can get he's probably very busy. I don't know if I can get that cake, but I'll get you a cake. If I do really well, I want the maximum cake. I'll see what I can do. I do believe there is bakery in town that does do it. Replication of that. It is it is at maximum themed cafe. Oh, that makes life so much easier. It is uh, uh <laughs> it is you. what is what what do they a, a butler cafe? Never mind, I don't want to go. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure we could get someone. Uh, I could speak to someone in the cafeteria to arrange for cake. It's not the same. Fine, Luther. If you do your best, I'll do my best, Esme. Uh, Luther doesn't. There's no Luther. Brooke? Nope. I'll try and get you the cake. He like shuffles into the tube. Mm. All right. Now, just relax. Everything is going to be just fine. Tappity tappity tappity's away. We're not giving cake, are we? <laughs> What you don't know is Xandra's yep. actually already started uh, texting a very specific secretary. Oh, okay. <laughs> the one I'm friends with. Uh, are you trying to keep this on the down low? Yes. I would like a stealth check then. Artyom is literally standing in front of the chair. This will be standard difficulty. Oh, oh, good. If the I roll the actual number, I got it. So I rolled a 40. It was a 40. Okay. I cool. succeeded at stealth texting a very specific <laughs> Argentinian <laughs> secretary. Great. Uh, do you want to tell us what you texted, or are you keeping that on the download for now? Uh, it's just basically there's a cake in an issue of a magazine. My roommates really want one. Can I get a maximum cake? And you can just, like, there's the uh, a face that's the equal signs with a very long underscore and another equal signs. Like the I'm done with everything tired face. All the Kirby. Uh, you don't get an immediate response, but no. the text is sent yep. successfully and nobody in the room is any the wiser. Including uh, Praleon, who is busy tacky tacking away on her keyboard as the machine begins to glow and hum and come to life. Uh, Esme, this is a little scary. Uh, I would actually like you to also give me a roll. I would like a resolve test here, standard difficulty resolve test. Oh, I had that for 65. There you go. Success. She's she's kind of like gonna get you yeah. the, the maximum cake. I'm gonna try and get you like the maximum cake. It is not for me. It's for you. Uh, <laughs> I love Archie so much. He's, he's a sweet boy. Uh, okay, so if you could just focus in now, and I would say relax, but you know, obviously, we need you to kind of do whatever it is you do for your particular art. Yeah, no, relax. Well, so. So normally, um, what does that look like? My friends would, would come by, but they're gone. Um, but hey, I your have... friends are right here. Aren't you? No, you're alive. Y you're, yes, it disqualifies you. It's okay. I... <laughs> I'm still learning English. Oh, you sweet boy, <laughs> sweet mother of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Esme just kind of like closes her eyes, just shaking out her hands. Fine, Luther. No, Brooke. No, but I've seen a lot of people die before. A lot of them. A lot of them. A lot of them. What's their faces? And she's trying to think of every. And as she does, she's trying to do like kind of the the effect she does for her her spell, where yeah. the, the body, the limbs would start to kind of come out from an arm. Um, yeah. Piecing out from her of the different people. Totally. Uh, go ahead and give me a uh, d uh, standard difficulty focus check to see. 65. I rolled well. That means I'm never going to succeed again. Yep. Success. 
That's fantastic. All right. Um, she kind of, it's like nobody else in the room notices anything. She's just kind of standing there, fidgeting, but standing there. The machine slowly increasing its, its little hum rate as uh, Praleon just kind of doesn't seem bothered, doesn't seem worried or interested, just kind of tacking away, doing her calibrations and taking her notes. It's at that point that Esme hears uh, Luther, who you suddenly notice he's standing over behind Praleon, just kind of looking over her shoulder at the screen. And she turns, or he turns to you rather, uh, Esme, and just says, she's scared of you, you know. Give me another uh, focus, this time at uh, hard. Okay. Minus 20, so 65. Minus 20, sorry, minus 20. Yeah. Minus 20, yeah, so 65. 45. 45. Okay. All right. Yeah. That mm. is a no. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Uh, again, the machine kind of spins up, and then it just sort of spins back down again. Couldn't Nothing show up of... before? I was in here. I know! You didn't make me look bad. Sorry. I'm trying to get them a cake. Cake is for you. I'm sorry. I will do better for cheering on if you wish. Working uh, on it. Or find a different oh page of the book. As the more that Luther <laughs> talks, again, you know her. Notice her little horns just kind of tweak a little, and suddenly she like stands up and like spins around in the room, and Luther's just gone. Hmm everything okay and she just is back to smiles um esme it looks like uh like your friend rtm here you uh sit in about the mid band of the red uh or the, the mid range of the red band uh so yeah that's that's pretty standard that's pretty normal that is Someone excellent is. we both can improve together we uh, yes i'm like you he puts his <laughs> Can I, can I step? Can I get out now? Uh, yes. No. Um, uh, the three of you are uh, dismissed. Go go on about your uh, your days. I'll be going over these results for. Anyway, if you would just uh, let the people outside know that uh, they can send to the next group. As we're leaving, Xandra's gonna turn and just say, "My result has nothing to do with him." Uh, him who? Xandra actually just. It lets out a wry smirk and then just turns around and walks away. And she see, like it doesn't even seem like she's being sarcastic. Like it is, seems genuine on her face. Like who? Um, Sandra actually oh, appreciates that a bit. Uh, Sandra. Yes, I, I knew, I knew that name for a reason. Uh, shit, I've lost the character's name. One second, here we go. You know, Kirk was speaking very highly of you. I'd be interested to see your progress. Really? And she kind of goes, Oh. Hmm. Send the next group, please. She yeah. goes back to her, her notes. She walks out, purse. Yeah. This stuff in the bag. And yeah, you just, you know, let the next group know they go on about their day. The three of you. It is your uh, turn to be examined by Scary Dragon. <laughs> Rock and roll, dude. Wait, what? <laughs> Do not fear. Uh, she will not eat you. Righteous. Uh, and and the, the stoner from across the hall with the rest of his team heads in uh, to, to have their examination. Um, unless anybody has anything they need to do on the way back to uh, your dorm rooms, that is where you're headed next. Yeah, if I get any response... Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, it, once you're outside of the building, uh, your phone vibrates. Uh, and it's just cake emoji, thumbs up emoji. I appreciate it. <laughs> Is the response that she gets. <coughs> yeah. 
trying to think what she would send back. <laughs> uh, she probably would. Uh, she just sent back a smiley face emoji. Yep. I know normally she just has the mental capacity with dealing with him all day to just yeah. send emojis as responses it's, to what I. It's a lot faster, honestly. Yeah. And Sandra's used to it. This is just, this is how his assistant communicates <laughs> via text with her. Uh, Pictures convey many words. They do. You make your way back to your uh, dorm room is what that is called. Head up the stairs. It's the the trip is uneventful. Um, when you get to your door, however, you notice that it's not closed all the way. It's still slightly ajar. Did you close this on the way out? I was not the last one out. Hmm. I thought I closed it. Luther pipes in. You did. Thanks. Yeah. No, I did. You're very hmm. safety conscious. If you closed it, and it is now my limited edition, and he bursts through the fucking door. <laughs> oh my god! I would like a, uh, I would like a challenging coordination test from RTM. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, indeed. Oh, oh no! Oh no! That's worse. I thought it was. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> That's a fail. Oh, you duckling. So your door is no longer on the hinges. <laughs> your door is no longer in one piece, even. Um, <laughs> as RTM goes through, he doesn't crack it clean into because it was at least already partially ready to swing open. But he, he the door goes like this. <laughs> And then the top half of it tears off the hinge as he blasts his way in. <laughs> Doesn't mind, runs straight to his desk, and you literally... One, two, three. You, you do not have to get far before it is keenly apparent. Uh, the room has been tossed. Your guys' stuff has been gone through. Um, like, the, the big like bed sheet or towel or whatever the hell it is RTM had like over his bed. Like that's been uh, cast aside. Pillows uh, have been uh, thrown over. You can see that the mattress has been slightly uh, jostled as if somebody looked underneath it. Um, your desk is a mess. Your desks, plural, are a mess. Um, some of the drawers are still halfway open. Somebody tossed this place. Just be kind of leering. Do through. I see anyone after standing in shock, staring at the door? Do I see anyone up and down the hallway? I mean, a half dozen students coming and going from different places, coming into and out of the rooms. But no one looks like they're hurried and trying to leave. No, they look like they're doing student stuff. Esme kind of makes her way into the room, stepping over a few different things, and is like, "Don't worry, we'll find out who did it, and then we'll burn their room down." turns around and he's got one of the figures. It's broken. It's broken. We'll burn their entire room with them in it. I saved up six months allowance to buy these. Oh god, is it like that nice Kotobukiya one? Yeah. Oh no. He, they broke the Kotobukiya one. <laughs> I have super glue and a love for puzzles. It... Give it to me. I'll fix it. You should not have to. I'll fix it and we'll let Esme burn their room down. No. That would be kind. Does it look like anything was taken? Are you missing anything? Hmm. All right. Uh, do I want to make you roll for this or just start? So, okay, so for searching through a room, that would be scrutinized, right? Help me out here with skills. Could be, um... Hmm. It could be awareness. Yeah. Awareness or scrutiny okay. would work. Yeah. I guess I guess that's the thing is I keep uh, struggling between the difference between what is awareness and what is scrutinize. Scrutinize is a focused search, whereas awareness okay. is a is is your general like awareness of things around you. Perception gotcha. would be see, if, looking at two gems and being like, which one's fake? Perception versus investigation. 
Right. Yeah. Awareness is, hey, somebody's tailing me. Do I notice? That's my awareness. Yeah. Scrutinize is I'm trying to pick a person out of a crowd. Yes. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, then in that case, yeah, um, I would like a scrutinize from anybody who would like to look around the room. Well, yes. Uh, this is actually going to be routine. You know your room and you know your stuff. Uh, a 14 will do it. A uh, four yeah. works. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. 99's a crit fail. <laughs> oh, buddy. Yeah. Um, okay, so you're gonna take a little mental peril, my friend, and it's a critical failure. It's probably the other teams, the other teams are probably doing it. Why would they beat them fair and square? Let's find out what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oof. Okay, uh, Jesus, I rolled high. 2d10 is not a small amount of points. Uh, you're going to get hit for 16 mental peril. Ooh. from the shred. Yeah, dude. 2d6 plus 2. I rolled really weirdly high. Yeah. Um, Damn. And uh, it's... You... You... Your skill ranks are nuked. Yeah. You're, you just... Your knees kind of go out for a second as you start to have this sort of not not a, a flashback in the sense that you're literally seeing the past but more of just this this overload this sensory paranoia of like oh right like it's I, i'm in that place again i'm not safe again there's there's uh, people uh, just can go through my stuff they can take my things none of these things are my things you're what right. am I supposed to do? I have to get out of here. I have to not this, and it's just it's just this overwhelming feeling of of not betrayal, but but almost like a familiar sort of dread, just overwhelms you. Our team, you're right. We can't burn down the room because that's you're right. That's not enough. I think it's because we're too fucking nice to the other teams. It's the other teams that we're being too nice to them, and we made ourselves weak, and that's why they're gonna fuck with us next. We have we can't. Dougie's not allowed over anymore. He's another team. That's not... I'm fine with that. Mm. No more. This does not seem like no. Dougie. Every, everyone seems nice. That's the point. They seem nice, right? And But the other kid was already removed. Why was he removed? He probably did... didn't do something very nice, now did he? Once per day, I can use bind wounds to up people's peril as well as damage track. Okay. Mm. Sure. Has, but then if they're uh, actually injured. Yeah. Yeah. Does you it not work on mental peril? Peril with um items, but I don't know what those items are. Uh, yeah, in the world I don't think we use laudanum or like so No. God I, I mean, uh, smelling the spelling salts helps peril. Not the laudanum. Yeah, but like I meant like in terms yeah. of the conversion, I don't know what a I mean, modern day if you were to take time to talk it out, you could maybe say a once per day leadership test might be able to help somebody get through. True. And I mean if there's um Mental peril. If, if you would like something that's a bit uh closer to the way uh cores why hander handles it, antidepressants exist. Like they are a real thing, as are like anti anxiety meds and, and that kind of stuff. Like Esme could have been prescribed like antipsychotics or something. It's probably in the bag that she never unpacked, but since the room got tossed, it's probably about, right? Uh, th yeah, though that bag is around. It has been opened. Its its contents have been spilled out next to it. Um, so I would I would be willing to allow that if that's the direction people want to head. Otherwise, um, yeah, somebody if somebody wants to try and talk her down a bit. Uh, really don't say that. Right flavor well. it that way for you guys. You probably want to flavor it elsewise, I guess. What do you mean flavor it? Like, <laughs> like, like talk, talking it out, role play it. Yeah. That's all. I just meant with uh, if we we're taking items. Oh, if you're taking yeah. an item, it's literally you popping a pill. Okay, we're, we're sharing. That's what that's now. what use that's what um, smelling salts is. It's literally using it. I need it for where I live. I get ulcers all the time. This is something I should have thought about before the show, but forgot to convert. Hey. It's not that difficult. Yeah, it really isn't. No. Yeah. Modern medicine item that reduces stress. Hell, enough liquor could technically do it. But <laughs> <clears throat> good Heart point. Actually, 
I guess that I suppose that's what I would say is as any kind of medicinal shit who wants to get Esme high, you know, like. <laughs> Uh, but yes, I, I will leave that that decision in, in y'all's hands. But uh, yeah, uh, Esme's having a little bit of basically the beginnings of a panic attack. Your broom has been tossed. What do you do? Well, what's oh, our right. scrutiny? You guys searched. Right, yes. you guys searched. Yeah. Yes. Th those of you who didn't blow the roll. Yeah. <laughs> uh, character question. Who here keeps a diary? Or some kind of journal? Great. They're gone. They are just completely fucking missing. Um, RTM, did you do you write yours out or did you keep yours on your laptop? Uh, it's in his laptop. Ooh, bad news. That laptop is Gonzo. That is good news. <laughs> uh, RTM is not stupid. Like Western Spy. Would he have tracking software? Ooh. Technically, if you boot up to any, he went through an any yeah. network. Uh, you know what? I, I I don't know if he would or not. Pardon me a moment while I roll some dice. <laughs> uh, Zandra, how do you keep your... Uh... On the desk, it actually just looks like a normal school notebook because no one would want to go through her notes and actually study. So it is the safest place in her mind. So it has like, it's it's literally in the middle of her school books on her desk and she has the top bunk with the desk underneath. It's literally uh, out in the open, but if anyone wanted to study, they would maybe potentially find it. Sure. And I presume you've got other notebooks that have just like notes in them from yes. various classes. Uh, two of those are missing as well. Now I'm pissed. Yeah. <laughs> My notes? <laughs> now, the good news is that you brought a notebook with you to the nurse's office, so that one's still just fine. <laughs> two of your other notebooks are just gone. Um, RTM, yes, uh, I rolled uh, very well. Very slash, I rolled very poorly for myself, so yes, you do have tracking software uh, on that uh, laptop. It will need to connect to the internet in some capacity, however or touch Wi-Fi or otherwise, it needs to speak to the world. So long as it's offline, mm. but if it goes online, you do have a way, a means to track it down. Well, if if necessary, we do have way to track it once they turn on my computer. Until then, it is, uh, how you say, uh, <laughs> forehead to sharpening stone. You know what? I would love to do that. What? I'm. I have to rewrite so many notes. I think we should maybe be contacting. Also, uh, my journal. R, R A. <coughs> who is in charge of security on floor? Yeah. Who is uh, the staff member assigned to our general area? Uh. <laughs> Well, uh, that's tricky because security, you know, is normally handled by the referees. <laughs> Open up the window and just scream, I need a referee! <laughs> Somebody down the quad who is in the middle of a duel, in fact, like has a sword, like is like in a blade lock. It's it's um, the guy from uh, from the pilot who's got the gigantic fucking slab of metal sword is in a blade lock um, with somebody who's got like uh, like these reverse arm blades on his arms. He's just kind of like doing this to like with both arms to keep the, the gigantic blade from crushing him. And there is a referee nearby. And that guy, the, this guy, the guy who's blocking just looks like, He's fucking busy! <laughs> oh, we'll find one on the floor. They're literally um, everywhere. Your feet are too wide! Shut up, weird kid! <laughs> uh, as, as he shoves back the giant blade and the two start just... Uh, beating the ever-loving crap out of each other. Check the hallway, see if there's a, a, a referee out there. Absolutely. Uh, as you're going to do that, um, Esme, you notice that uh, Brooke is there, um, and she's just kind of, she she reaches up. She doesn't say anything, because she doesn't really speak as such. 
It's yeah. You can, but you can kind of you hear fire kind of when she's around very lightly, and she's just like pointing at uh, a part of your section of the room. Hmm. And you realize, yeah, go ahead. She kind of crawls over, gets up, goes to look over, and what is it? Um, and she just she sort of points, and she just like makes this with her hands, and you realize you know what's missing. Your orbular etch a sketch is gone. <laughs> Thank you stole from your therapist. It's for? not stolen. Was... She just started. it's not stolen. It was mine. It was a it was a gift. It was. Thank you, Brooke. They took my etcher sketch. Why? Why would because Why they're trying a laptop, to get a journal, school notes, and an etch a sketch. Because they're trying to set boundaries. Referee. <laughs> One of them is um, rolling down like that little cross hallway, and um, in its arms, it's got a not like a tray, but it, it's it's got a little hard hat on. It's got the, the in hard hat mode, and it's carrying in its its little robot arms, I guess like a tray, a tray full of bricks. And it's kind of like, and it stops. And it like spins towards you and floats over. Does it go through the top of the door that's broken? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it go because you suck his head out in the hallway. So it basically goes to where Archie Alm is in the hallway. And says, greetings. How can I be of assistance to you today? I have a security emergency. Please state the nature of the security emergency. Someone broke into our room and stole our things. Processing, <laughs> and the the head kind of uh, the the little hard hat top like goes down. Oh no! And then a little blue siren hops up <laughs> and starts flashing around, and it drops the bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> the arms pull up inside, um, and it 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 moves forward as if to be like, hey, could you could you could you move? Because I'm trying to get around you he, to get into the room. Oh yeah, yeah. he sidesteps so that the it's, and it kind of like floats. The other two, uh, as you're going through your stuff in there, the um, <laughs> the referee kind of like floats inward, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it's little blue cone thing uh starts kind of doing this like laser beam like sweep around look of the room. There has been a security breach in this room. It is perceptive. <laughs> Somebody's walking over to the pile of bricks and it's just. I would like to clarify that the door is partially my fault. Thank you for your honesty. A citation has been issued to your permanent record for damaging the, the door outside of uh, officially sanctioned combat activities. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we will send someone to fix the door. We have items can, missing from each of our personal effects. It stops scanning, floats over to you, and again, somehow turns to face you. <laughs> uh, please provide us with a list of the items that are now missing. What about items that are also broken? Property damage has been done and I will have a full itinerary with appropriate values attributed to lost items. I understand your request. Please wait one moment while I deal with the first request first. Please state the number, the nature of the items that were stolen. Oh my God. Three school notebooks, one personal journal, two notes from uh, this class and this class. Yeah, yeah. And yeah whichever. A yeah. laptop. That is filled with many precious memories. Filled with precious memories and a globe at your sketch. It was from Peyton. Peyton gave it to me. It's mine. Three notebooks containing class notes. One precious memories uh, laptop. <laughs> One globe ex globe ex et I can't say it. <laughs> One globe etch a sketch from Peyton. Is this the list of items in its completion? Its totality, whatever. As far as we've been able to tell right now, correct. Understood. Logged. 
it turns to face Artyom. I am sorry for the delay. Thank you for your patience. Please tell me the nature of the things that were broken. The door has been logged and attributed to Artyom Sokolov. Artyom Sokolov, Artyom, Team 666, Year 1. Come with me. <laughs> and just turns around, walks over, and will spend the next 30 minutes oh holding up each figure, mm-hmm. naming it, oh, your insurance pointing claim. out what, like, it, he does Book a value? full hard insurance claim. Oh, yeah. And at and throughout, I would reference further detail. She already gives a lot of detail. <laughs> I would reference further detail, but my laptop was stolen. Next. It has been noted. We have logged that your laptop is... Like, every time you bring that up, like, it just <laughs> parrots out that response. Please continue. So, like, for the next... He's going to go through literally every item that has a scratch on it. And it it very patiently sits there, listens to everything, and when it gets to the end, recounts this entire tale. Sandra, and her- at this point, has a completely reorganized the desk and bed area <laughs> that she stays in. Now that we have completed the figurines, we must discuss first edition uh, volumes of manga. And he starts lifting up each one. <laughs> Outside, another referee has lifted up the bricks that are carrying them off. Did it take back the one Esme pocketed? Pocketed a brick? Yeah. Yeah. She looked down at the bricks and just grabbed it and shoved it in her fucking hoodie pocket. Fucking <laughs> cool again. Why? You know what? Never mind. I don't care why. Um, I super don't care why. No. It doesn't seem to give a shit. So, are there no. In fact, it, cam- it comes over, apologizes for the mess, picks up the bricks, and leaves. Oh, it's so cute. I love them so much. I are, want one. Are there no cameras in this place, really? So we can just fucking whiz on the walls in the hallway and no one sees anything? RTM in the middle of your thing. It just turns to Esme. Please only urinate within designated areas, <laughs> inside designated receptacles. It is against student regulations to urinate or defecate in public areas. Thank you. Are there goes security back cameras was the initial question. Yeah. Xandra turns actually interested in this information. Apologies. I misunderstood the inquiry. Turns back to RTM. Please hold. We will continue this discussion in a moment. So security is provided by the referee network. No security cameras are kept inside of student rooms because that would be rude and illegal. <laughs> Many of you are minors. A hallway. What about the hallways, the public areas? You really don't wa- watch everyone? Uh, no. <laughs> the mi- minimal security cameras are kept around in certain sensitive areas. However, most of the security is provided by the referee network. Any referees see what happened? <clears throat> Understanding that we will be getting back to my personal belongings. What I would ask is, uh, we knew what time we left. You do. So, what, like 9 a.m.? Uh, oof. a little bit later than that, because it would have been it would have been a while to get down to your chunk of the block. Um, and you'd only been waiting for like 20 minutes. So, you actually it depends on what you were doing that morning. So, yeah, you probably would have left around nine ish, unless you had a reason to stick around in your dorm room early that day. So, yeah. But we left room at 9 a.m. We were returned at noon. That is three hours. Can you log when and where referees were during time and in the area? There were... Oh, let's see. Hang on a moment. All right. How many referees are there? Okay. How many of them were at the dorms, Fox? Oh, no. Please hold while the GM does math. <laughs> it's a common occurrence. Okay. They're probably uh, lying. They probably oh, saw and just don't want to say. Shit, I need a calculator, actually. Oh, God. I want to give you an accurate number. Oh, my God. So we're dedicated to Click, this. clack, go the abacus beads. Basically, yeah. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. So that means, all right. Uh, 
there are at any given time 27 referees assigned to this building typically there are three per floor were there any in the range of this room during that time accessing logs and it sits there for a while <laughs> oh dear at this point Xandra just goes over takes a book out from underneath and just starts helping, because uh, at this point she's done with her shit, just starts going over and, like, helping Artyom and Esme, if they'll let her. Dude. I'm sorry, there appears to be an error. Uh, and that's, that is the first time you've ever heard a referee say that. You, you have error. You put our bodies back together. You put them back together. You can't have errors. I'm sorry. There is an error. Would you be able to explain further? Has an error message been sent to your processing unit? Like, I'm sure you have a central hub somewhere. That information is proprietary. Please speak with any member of the Dragon Trio in order to obtain that information. Ah, yes. I don't want to. Uh, this have you would seen be what they have done to my things? I wish to speak to a dragon. How will I arrange that? Well, there's Just one in the one. nurse's facility. I need you to break my arm. The, uh, it, it then goes on, to, it starts to explain to you where you can find the principal's office in the main school building. Uh, expl it begin, then explains to you where the nurse's office is at the, uh, the medical building. Um... And then Mr. it just doesn't say anything else about uh, the third, uh, Asteros. It says nothing about uh, him. Hmm. Actually, you know, wait, no, I know what it says. It says uh, the school janitor can be found on the school grounds. <laughs> That's all it says about Asteros. Well, I do believe it is our best chance to go and speak with the principal. It is the most direct an honorable way of handling things. What about this feels honorable, Artyom? I do not wish to be sent to jail when I do what I am going to do to someone who finds out what things have done in here. I apologize for my English. You're a minor, so it wouldn't be the worst. I'm sure you can't just talk to the Only principal. The I'll see if we can't get to, uh... Shit, what's his name? Chit, 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 chit. Wait, this is actually some stuff. No, Benjamin Fryer. Ah. Oh, the vice principal. I'll see if we can't get to the vice principal first. You try for, for Fryer. I will try for a minute. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just going to look at my list of contingencies, shake my head, and go, well, let's take all this prep, throw it in the garbage can. <laughs> RTM is going to walk up to the referee. Okay. Put his finger <laughs> gently on its nose. Uh, it, you try to, and as you do, it slowly backs <laughs> away. Just, do, 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 do. please do not touch the referees. I will hold. Uh, what is your personal designation? Eventually, it bonks into a wall <laughs> trying to back away from you. Does it look like it's floating on magnets? It looks like it's floating on air. It's just floating. You don't know how or why it's floating. Like you could, if you run your hand underneath it, you feel nothing. These things have like flown over your heads before uh, in the last episode. Like mm -hmm. there's no like rush of air. There's nothing. You're not really sure what the fuck makes these things uh, float. Some zero point shit. Yeah, basically. Mm. Um, but yes, it bonks into the wall <laughs> after trying to avoid your finger. Do you continue to try to poke it? No. He stops. And he just points. Still okay. close, but points. Yeah. What is personal designation of this unit? You absolute piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Guess what? They now have three number designations, just like you do, because <laughs> that's what I just decided. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Are you fucking shitting me? No. Okay. I swear to God. Uh, unit designation, Niner, six, Niner. I thought I rolled six, six, six for a second. Get out of here. <clears throat> No, that one's painted weirdly. It doesn't have the black and white stripes. It's got different. It's got red, white, and blue stripes. 
-hmm. And it's a little <laughs> off. <laughs> it's got a cracked well, screen. Referee nine six nine. I will be holding you personally accountable for the safety of this room until I return. The referee system is not personnel. <coughs> I will hold this unit responsible. You understand, yes? <laughs> you know, the anime version of it, there's just like a little sweat drop behind the poor little <laughs> tooth man. Uh, <laughs> student... <laughs> what is it? Um... Pursuant to student guidelines, students are forbidden from damaging school property, including the referee system. I very much prefer having you on my team. So if you could refrain from, oh, does that mean all school property, including statues? <coughs> students, <coughs> students, are choking. students are asked to refrain from damaging school property outside of the bounds of a officially sanctioned fight. Well, I know uh, officially I'm sanctioned my next combat fight. event. Sorry, they wouldn't say fight, they would say combat event. <laughs> I know where I'm holding my next fight. But anyway, please, Artyom, do not damage the referee. It's please do not damage the referees. It's doing its job. It is doing its job poorly. The referee system is doing its job. <laughs> Full of errors. But I'm sure that'll be fixed. And we'll be able to find out what happened to our room. Mm, our room, our... As An error log has been filed. Oh my God. Stalking off into the hallway and is looking around to see if anybody's opening their doors to their own rooms as they kind of mill through. Oh, some people have the doors to their rooms just open. I mean, it's a dorm. She starts, like, walking down the hall, just peering in, just, like, not even trying to hide it, but just, just like, <coughs> looking in everyone's rooms, either to see if they've been also damaged or just look for their stuff. She just starts ah. walking up to doors and just left it open, so, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, actually, okay, well, you run into a lot of different things, so we'll get to you in a second. Uh, the other two still in the room, what do you do? A report has been sent to, uh, security? To campus security. Any idea on time of resolution? It will be dealt with, uh, with all due haste. <laughs> Do you have any further questions, or do you require counseling? No. <laughs> Emotional distress is common in times of trauma. If you require counseling, please let one of the referees or a member of faculty know. See my own therapist. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> I am going to go see a dragon now turns and just books it. Oh. Not full on running, but like that that I am determined walk. Sure. Oh. I mean, uh, as we would, if you pass her, she would come with, but it, in that time, she was kind of just like stalking through the hallways and just not yeah, staying so, still. Okay. You're poking your head through various rooms on, on your floor, right? Yes. Down the hall and, yeah. and around the area. Okay, a moment while I check something on my notes here real quick. To see who you would have bumped into. Um, okay. Uh, you, uh, most of the rooms, it's just, like, for the ones that are open, it's like, uh, there's there's two guys, like, and they've got a Switch out, and they're playing Smash. And just, like, like sitting on, like, uh, one. They're, they're on the bed, and the thing's, like, set up on the desk, and they're just, like, sitting there, like, playing Smash, but you, like, stick your head in there. And it's just one of them just like reaches over, like holds up a controller, and kind of is like, hmm? Hmm? they go back to their game. Um, there's uh, one girl who's like she's she's got headphones on, and she looks a lot like Xandra in the sense that like she's just this very haggard, like oh god, I've been up all night, and she's got um, like this giant sketch pad, and she's like working on something and with like um, like charcoal or something, just going to town, just trying to get this thing just right. And you stick your head in there, and like she doesn't even notice you. It's me in real life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and she won't acknowledge you unless you like say or do anything to her. Um, you keep working your way down the hall, until eventually you bump into uh, 
Oh god, you didn't you didn't go to Dougie's room, so you wouldn't know mm -mm. either of the people. You stick your head into a room and there is a uh albino gen gentleman uh who is watching something on his phone on the top bunk, on one of the two top bunks uh in that room. And like he's looking at his phone and he kind of just like looks down at you. Oh hey. Weird girl, right? Probably. Um <laughs> Actually, I got I got a phone. Can I? There we go. Can I help you, weird girl? She's kind of leering in the room, looking around. Did you go in my room? <laughs> no. I. Uh, <laughs> if I need an alibi for, I don't know what I'm being accused of. Uh, check with the uh, medical building. I went in there and did the whole scanner thing. Mm. I did. So did Jessica. So, right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And she like l looks back out into the hallway and sees RTM trucking it and makes big eyes like, "Oh, well, don't go in my room." And she turns around and just goes <laughs> to look for to follow up with RTM. Okay, if you see Dougie, let him know that he needs to stop keeping fish in the room. Where do I put the split notes? Wait. Okay. Is uh, Xandra sticking to the room or is Xandra uh, coming Xandra's along? sticking in the room until the door is repaired. And meanwhile, she is actually typing out an email to the vice principal. Oh my god. Ooh. A formal complaint. Okay. Yes. Ooh, okay. As, as, uh, as, as May joins up. Ah, you are coming with me. Yeah. Yes. This is good. We will go to Dragon, find out who it is, and then I will be finding them and having them contact their parents to inform them that they must fill out adoption papers, for I am now their father. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. Yeah, if someone does overhear that, they've got like a, like a drink or something, and they're just like... <laughs> <laughs> is it, yeah, is, is they're just kind of like walking by on... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I have Darko in my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I thought we were g I thought we were gonna f light them on fire and Yes, that is part of the process. Mm. I don't think that I, I, I could say with certainty that's not how adoption works. <laughs> Rook appears behind RTM as you're looking at him and she just she just kind of folds her arms a little bit. Who appears? Uh, Brooke, the small burning girl. Oh. You don't see her, but Esme well, yeah. does. And <laughs> at the talk of like, we'll just burn everything down. And Esme's just, or uh, Brooke's just like. I'm sorry. I mean, really, burning and melting, but. Really insensitive. I'm sorry. It's just, but you know, they once they start everything, she's talking directly behind RTM. Once they start stuff like this, you have to you have to show face, otherwise it's gonna get worse. And you know that. She walks over and hugs her leg. And then vanishes like into like an ash. Like poof. Uh RTM is doing that. I'm really walking in a direction with confidence, but I don't know exactly where I'm going. So it's a lot of getting to the end of hallways, looking, 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 going the other way. Uh, well, you, you've been at the um, <laughs> you've been at the dorm long enough that getting out is a fairly straightforward affair. Um, <laughs> does he at least take the elevator this time, or does he take the stairs again? Oh, he takes the stairs. Does he always take the stairs? Yes. Jesus, this guy, Esme, do you follow him down the stairs? Always maximize every moment. God, you did just say that. Oh. <laughs> Poor Xander, because she, she's not here. Uh, do you do you take the stairs with him, or do you take the elevator? Yeah, it's, it's just, she's kind of sticking along. Um, <laughs> it, okay, but down's easier than up anyway. Makes sense. Uh, meanwhile, back in the room, because <laughs> we're gonna come back to you two knuckleheads. But let's go. Uh, actually, we cut we cut back to the room, and there is already um, a pair. Oh God, it's one of them is even uh, unit uh, six nine six. And then one of them, just another unit has come along with a door. <laughs> it just has a door that it's holding under, like under its arms. And the two of them are in hard hat mode. And they're just like 
putting it up in place, screwing things in, clearing out the debris. As you were doing what? Uh, because my journal was stolen, but not my laptop. I am pulling open my right. laptop to my email. <coughs> Getting rid of all the stupid PR shit that tends to come through. <laughs> From all the junk filters. You have, yes, on any given day, um, three to ten emails from various um, publications of varying quality uh, of, 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 let's say, journalistic integrity, um, requesting interviews, like requesting information, requesting pictures. There's actually an automatic response that goes out on Xandra's email, no comment, mm -hmm. and that's all it says. But that's what goes out to every email that comes in, no matter what it is. Some of the ones that have come back clearly are re like they've auto re they've replied to your auto response, <laughs> as if to be like no, but please. And you can see the part where it says like no comment that you wrote to them. Like some people are just persistent. And it actually says like this account has auto replied to your request. It's like an out of office message, but it just says no comment. And the people yeah. that don't read it, the people that she knows, just just like yeah, no, not worth my time. <laughs> There's no winning they're not listening. Yeah, there's obviously, they didn't listen. Yeah, there is no. There's no there's good solution for them. Honestly, I almost feel a little bad. I don't. Uh, and she's typing out an email because I'm sure we have staff emails and generic school email accounts. Oh, yeah, for sure. And if um, not, like, you're, you know, his kid, like, you definitely have an email. Everybody has an email address. Like, if nothing else, you would definitely have the equivalent, it could even just be Google if you wanted it to be, like, there'd be a Gmail equivalent kind of thing. Um, but you could, you, they would probably assign, Draco mail. it'd probably be, it's probably your student ID at uh, firebrand.edu, yes. I had a guess. Perfect. Student ID. Shit, does anybody own that, actually? <laughs> Don't mind me, just checking my registrar. And there's a, <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. And there's a, um... This the, the subject line says security issue dash Alexandra Sinclair. Oh, the whole name. I can't get .edu domains. Damn it. Okay. We can get org. <coughs> we can get .gay. Yeah, we can get .gay. Oh, we could get .gay. <laughs> <laughs> we had that on our calendars for when they released .gay because we're a bat house. Listen, I'm a great person. Uh, I'm in it and for a basically, domain. Xandra is going to detail what just happened and what is missing. Bucks a year. Kiss my ass. Whatever. <laughs> Dot gay is an expensive TLD. Being gay Man. is expensive. It That's is. a fair point, actually. You know, it's right. It is more expensive because we're worth more. Damn it. Yeah. There you go. Good recovery. Perfect. <laughs> uh, anyway, Xandra is detailing that the room has been my gone final, through. Items were missing from the room, and the uh, referee on duty at the time had an error in their security footage, and uh, obviously something needs to change. Oh my god, Karen, you're wonderful. <laughs> it's- Karen. Xandra, if anything, Alexander knows how Karen to Sinclair. use the name, <laughs> hates doing it, but also- this Karen. guy says, uh, listen, Uncle Benjamin needs to listen to his fucking niece every now and then. Oh. If he considers, if he still wants to call himself Uncle Benjamin, even though I haven't seen him since I was four, he's gonna answer my email. Uh, and, uh, sends it to the vice president. Vice, vice, vice principal. The president of the United States. Listen, I'm just like twitching, going, I, I hate this. I hate that I'm doing this. But if it's going to get shit done and information about who's, what's going on, then. Uh, the, the email is sent. Yep. And I look over and I'm just like, I really am sorry again about the door to the referees. It, you look over, it is already finished. Um, one of them has already departed. The second one is just kind of got like a little uh, brush that's like fixing some of the paint. And and like uh, with the other hand, it's kind of like sweeping up some of the debris from the construction, like into like a little uh, pan that it's got set out. That is abnormally convenient. <laughs> really, the question is, is, how do they fit everything in it? I don't... This is just two hats. I'm just sitting there staring at them in just... Mm. Yeah. Scientific wonder. 
uh, and like as as it finishes, it like just kind of like it picks up its little uh, tray and like it basically piles all of its tools in, in into its hands and like it, it turns to you and its little hard hat just kind of goes back down into its little tube and it flies off. CV ready. How many hats does it wear? And then cut to. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> hmm, let's see. So, okay. Now we're coming up on our break, but I think, I think we can keep going for a second here before we get too deep into what comes next. Uh, as you're um, heading out of the the dorm building, um, again, it's, it's hustle, it's bustle. Uh, there's kids kind of uh, coming and going. Uh, the two of you are understandably a bit distracted. Uh, poor RTM is on a goddamn warpath. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh, he's lost his name. Luther. Luther has remanifested, um, and is is has has been like sort of. He when he talks, he's just such a weird. It's like uh, having stuff stolen is sad. Like the conversations he initiates are so weird. <laughs> but he's been kind of talking to to Esme about this sort of stuff as you go. And it's as you're talking to him um, that the two of you uh, nearly collide uh, with another student coming in the building. Ooh. Uh, she is, oh, she's a she. Uh, the girl, uh, she's got a very lightly tanned skin. Uh, she's kind of curvy, a little heavy set. Um, she's very short, uh, shorter than both of you, in fact. I, guess, I think actually, how tall is Esme, roughly? Probably 5'3". Okay, so she's not much shorter than Esme, because this, this... Esme's a small little two. raccoon gremlin person. Esme so is still taller than me. In real life? Yeah, or, yeah well, that's not hard. <laughs> My six tall bigger than you. I don't, I don't know what to say. What am I supposed to do with that? Listen, I'm not saying you're short, sweetie. I'm just saying that Bilbo Baggins would be interested. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Completely understandable. Karen, please don't send an email to my supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to you guys anymore. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I didn't either, but only people. because Cassandra beat me to the punch. <laughs> also, I'm in Texas. I'm invincible. Um, <laughs> I have a car. Those two phrases exactly don't work together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, it takes 24 hours and 18 minutes for you to drive to you from here. I'm I'm aware. Uh -huh. Oh, you are? Yeah, I am. Aww. Aww. I, I, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> anyway. No, that's yes, 50 uh, bucks a month. <laughs> <laughs> a year. What's time? Hey, student. So student, uh, we almost bowled over. Yeah, uh, she's short. She's got dark. Uh, she's got straight dark green hair. That's kind of. It's in a bit of a, a spiky kind of cut. Like it's not like um, she's not Gokuing over the place, but it's it's kind of like a teased out little spiky, like a pixie cut actually. Pixie I guess that's really okay. what you got going there. Um, and she's got this like massive black scarf that she's wearing. That's kind of <clears throat> um, covering up like the bottom half of her face, not like tightly, but like it's kind of uh, like a big frumpy. I'm trying to think of how to describe anime, but like, you know, got like a big floofy scarf sort of- Aizawa from tall. My Hero. Yeah. Or, yeah. um, what's her butt from friggin' um, Attack on Titan? She's got the scarf all oh, the time. Oh, and, and Pot Mi Potato Girl? Mikasa? Oh, no, oh Mikasa. I think that's her Main yeah. character? Whatever the hell her name is. Yeah. She... No, no, no. Or, shit, I don't know. Yeah, so... But anyway, yes, she's got a big anime scarf and it trails back behind her down to her butt. It's like this just big floofy black scarf thing that she's got going on. Um, and you just like kind of nearly collide with her. It's like, no. ah, whoa, hey, excuse, Careful. <laughs> excuse me, small strider. I must be going. Strider. I'm feeling very called out right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she's also wearing like these weird gloves that only cover about here, and she's got like this fishnet like chest thing on, <laughs> iron headband. It's weird. No, um, <laughs> just the scarf, and um. Oh, uh, she actually, she's like, hey, watch where you go, and like looks up at how tall, remind everyone how tall Artyom is. 6'8". So she comes to like hear on him? 
perfect view of the axe. Are you sure you're 17? Like, just... 17. It's just stomach. She's just this little thing. Um, ah, jeez. Okay, so yeah, sorry. I'll just... um And, like, tries to squeeze uh, past the two of you, and... Hmm. Uh, give me another... Actually, in this case, give me an awareness. Uh, the two of you that are there. Uh, for RTM, you're kind of distracted. This one's going to be challenging. Esme, it's a uh, standard. That's good because I don't have my skills right now. So I need a forty. That's a fail. It's not. Yeah, fail. Yeah, we're. Listen, I got a pocket full of brick, and my I friend mean, is real big. Use we're, a we're point done. of fortune. So at oh. least have one of you guys another chance to see anything. What, what's your base perception? Forty. Same. So it. Doesn't, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter either way. We we'll use one. Yeah. Actually, you have awareness. Yeah, but it's a challenging test. Shit. Well, well, actually, because you're in peril, you don't get it. You don't get your skill rank, yeah. so I have a forty. So That's I'll, why I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. That'll be a thirty. Yeah. Which will do hey, it. That'll... Information is important. Well spent. I feel good about this. Um. I will fix that button on the brake. I swear. As as you're walking uh past, like you kind of like oh so, yeah yeah they're doing the dance of trying to get around people at the door. Um, you notice that she looks at you, RTM. She never looks really at Esme, but her eyes do, as Esme go past, she seems to track something behind Esme for a second, just like looking at where she just was. He'll, he'll look to see if there's anything, just nothing. Just, you don't see anything behind Esme hmm. now. This girl, for a second, that you see her like, like, it's almost like she does a double take. She's like clearly trying not to, but she can't not look at something. It's weird. Is there something gonna... possibly following us? What? It, she stops. She like stops, turns, and like. Are you talking to me, tall kid? Y yes. You you nearly <laughs> bumped into me, but you did not look at me, nor did you look at my roommate. You looked behind. Is there someone possibly following us? You guys are weird. I don't, I don't know either of you. I don't know what's going on, and I have a dinner to get to. Or so, and I have whatever. a very stressful day. I wish <laughs> to know. Uh, she's turning to leave unless you do He'll something step in front, stop her. Just kind of slide in front of it. Hey, what the hell? I asked a very polite question. It has been very rough day, as my personal space has been violated. Numerous times. For the sake of my maximum collection, I wish to know if there is anyone following us, and you seem to be paying attention to such things. As we just trying to see if Luther was hanging out? Yeah, Luther is like standing right next to you. Huh. Were you behind me? I follow you. Oh. Huh. As we bops over. Can you see him? Uh, him who? She gestures wildly to, like, almost Vanna White-esque, like. Uh, you could, um, look, I, I don't know what you're on about, tall guy. I don't know what your deal is, weird kid. I, I'm just, I don't know. You almost crashed into me, honestly. Like, I don't know what the hell is, and... She's clearly starting to, like, reach for something in a pocket. Hi, I'm Weird Girl. I'm Esme. What's your name? Uh, <laughs> there's a part of me that wants to make that an interrogation check. <laughs> if I had skill... Uh, you know what? Go for it. Oh, uh, but I don't know that you're really interrogating her as yeah, such. I know. Could just be Socially. intimidation. Just, listen. Uh, I don't... The Esme isn't really being intimidating so much as weird. Yeah. yeah. You that can be very intimidating. Oh. Okay, that's fair. Oh, um, wow. But no, sh uh, she'll just kind of like... I'm... Carla? It is nice to meet you, Carla. I am Artyom. See, now that we know each other's names, and we are all friends... I am not her friend. Why would you not want to be her friend? 
don't even know who you, I mean, yes, I know your names, but I don't know who you people. Listen, all I know is I came in through a door and now I'm being accosted by weirdos. And is this like a challenge thing? Like, are we fighting right now? Cause. No, I was asking a simple question as to why you were so distracted by what is behind friend. You notice that she's sweating. Luther was standing behind me, Artyom. Luther says, hi, Carla. And that is where we're going to take our break. Oh. So, folks, this is about the midway point in the stream. Uh, right? I did do my math right. Nine o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we are going to take like a short little interlude here. I'm going to see if I can fix this. Time. Uh, the nervous wow, one. Told, yeah, yeah, I lost his name. Uh, friggin' Carla. Carla. Luther. Luther. No, 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 Luther. Thank you. Yeah, Luther looks over and just says, "Hello, Carla." And uh, it's like you don't even have to roll for this. You can tell that she's kind of sweating, and she hands her has her hands on something uh, in her skirt pocket. What do you do? Well, she Esme shows her hand into the pocket with the brick. Why do you know Luther? I'm very confused by this she entire knows my conversation. Ghost. Her hand pops out and it is holding uh, a, a trio of like small metal orbs. And her hand gets to about here. You have a chance to react if you would like to do something because you suspect she's about to literally smoke bomb this whole situation. I want to grab that wrist. Oh, absolutely. That sounds very much like a coordination test to me. <laughs> I like do a quick check through here. Actually, ooh, this is probably a good opportunity to do a um, a pose test. It occurs to me because I need more practice doing those. So I keep forgetting how they work. It's just we just we both have to roll. We have to then succeed, and whoever right that's the whole deal with it. So yeah, it's going to be your coordination versus I think just hers. Honestly, I'm trying to throw a smoke bomb. What'd you get? I got a 38, which is two under my maximum. So, um, did you okay. succeed? I rolled an 11. So that succeeds. Okay. That's we good. both succeeded. Oh, but you rolled an 11. You crit succeed. That means you definitely beat me. Oh, shit. That's right. Those, I forgot. Thank you for reminding me. Doubles are crits here. Damn. Um, so, so, uh, she gets her hand up in the air. Uh, and you do, you see her that go for it, and you do manage to, like, just snatch it, but not before the smoke bombs kind of go, like, she just, like, opens up her hand and they go rolling out. One of them, in fact, like, kind of rolls, uh, or no, wait, she's so short, she wouldn't hit you in the face with one, which is sort of, like, bounce off your chest, actually. <laughs> one kind of, like, punks off of your chest, one punks off the back of um, poor Esme's head, and all three of them kind of hit the floor, and it's just smoke everywhere. Uh, as sh as you feel Artyom, uh like a, a palm strike to the gut, and she like twists her hand loose, <clears throat> and uh, you can't see because there's fucking smoke everywhere. Like the whole, in fact, it's just coughing and smoke and students going, "Hey, what the hell?" But you can tell that the the um, front door out of the dorms has been like just boomed open, like somebody slammed through it. And as you notice that, all of the uh, the smoke uh, and smoke alarms, the uh, fire extinguishers, just <laughs> as the room is filled with angry children going, "Oh God, my books!" Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, I uh, uh, Artyom would chase out the direction of the door. Sweet deal. What about uh, Esme? What's Esme doing? I yeah, if she can tell where she went, she would definitely follow. She's a little raw right now, and you're the first person to see. Yeah. Luther looks at the door and just goes, Bye, Carla. What? <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, RTM, you give chase. All right. So I know there are actually chase rules in Zweihander. Unfortunately, I haven't brushed up on them, so we're going to keep this sweet and simple, I think. It's basically just opposed to athletics tests. Yeah. 
uh, which is how we're going to go down on this. Um, she is going to haul ass. I have to think for a second about what the fuck. Athletics Are there is based off for of... the fire extinguishers going off? I'm wondering if Xander would hear. Right? On the sixth floor, would Xander hear the fire alarms going off? In the lobby? Huh. I guess there is... Right, if there's any fire alarms at all, it would hit the whole building, wouldn't it? Because that's how fire alarms work. Yeah. That's um, a that's a whole building evacuation situation. Yeah, it is. So yeah, you know what? You Zandra, you click and send, and like the little guys go away. You see the you see the little dudes leave. Actually, no, wait, no, you were you were fixing the um the model, weren't At you? At this point, like, uh, oh. <laughs> Zandra's gone over and has used super glue and is starting to put some of the pieces together. And hating, need- like literally mumbling. This is not how you look, you fucking idiot. Stop <laughs> letting them make figures of you like this oh yeah you're gluing his head back into place and that smug grin just that (laughs) i really want to fuck up this figure but it was already broken and i don't want artyom to think i have something against you (laughs) Uh, i'm gonna need to resolve i think this is because this is a heavy concentration so that feels like a resolve to me resolve test resolve okay because i can't hear right now i know it's Oh yeah, sorry. Um, and it's going to be cha- uh, no, this is hard. This is a hard resolve test. I'm I'm sorry. What difficulty? A hard, hard. test. Negative hard? twenty. Hard. Yeah. Okay, so negative twenty. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. This is a tricky one because you're putting this thing into place, and all of a sudden, uh, check your microphone. Quick. I fail. Um. Yeah. So uh, you go to put the head into place and snap the torso clean off as ha, ha, suddenly starts screeching. Uh, this is a fire alarm. You know it is not a fire drill. If it was a fire drill, they would have warned people you know that they were doing a, a fire drill today. They would have warned you but if it was a drill. A fire alarm is now going off. Okay. Uh, I get the general gist of it. Xandra looks down at the figure. And you said I snapped the head off again? Uh, you, yeah, um, well, you went to go put the head into place, but it snapped the torso in half. <gasps> Because, because you, I well, it was in pieces already. So I guess I just broke one of the pieces I'd already put together, and I'm just like, uh huh. Well, two pieces is better than fifteen. And she puts it down on the desk, uh, and then just sighs, thinking that she just let their two teammates go, and then suddenly the fire alarm goes <gasps> off. Oh, whoa! Good man. <laughs> She's smart. <laughs> And oh, she yeah. goes, but I'm sure there's a referee in front of the elevator going, due to the emergency, unable to use this oh, yeah. right now, please use the stairs. Uh, they are just, they've got their little, like, uh, they got the red siren up, and they're just directing people to the stairs. Please do not panic. Please exit in an orderly manner. Please do not panic. A fire has been detected on the first floor. <laughs> I did actually say we were going to light someone on fire today, so yeah. I suppose I, could, I shouldn't be too offended. Super did. <laughs> Super did. Xandra uh, starts was... uh, okay. going down the stairs quickly and like pushing past people. Uh, which is not really an issue, although there is a, a considerable amount of complaint, and you are, of course, shited as you go by, like, please exit in an orderly manner. Please do not shove other students. <laughs> so... Opposed athletics tests. Let me think about what the hell her athletics would be, because that is based off of brawn. And she's not super brawny. But she would definitely have a skill rank in it. Do you you want to? Can I? Yeah, I'd be down. Use a point. Oh, you. Suck at running, honey. Yeah. Use a fortune point. Reroll this. Okay. That is much better. So I rolled a 64. Swell. I rolled an 85. (laughs) Oh, well, I succeeded with a 64. I I absolutely blow the roll. How many degrees of success is this? 14? Uh, Actually, (laughs) it is 12 degrees of success. (laughs) Good God! How many? Like uh, anatomically, do you even have extra muscles in your legs that shouldn't be there? It's brawn. Ooh, it's what you do. He's got he's got very special good legs. Uh, from Mother Russia. Mother <laughs> Russia provides Mother Russia. good leg for children. Um, <laughs> I don't know where this joke is going. 
but I do know where we're going. We're going out the front door of the dorm mm-hmm. as uh, actually, yeah. So you, you in fact catch like the tail end of, of her scarf disappearing around the corner. And like, as you emerge, you see that she is hauling ass. Let me bring up my map and just think really quickly. Uh, she's actually hauling ass across the quad to the north towards Harper Hall. Um, how does RTM oh. close the distance? Yeah, if you've got the map open, it's the northwest building. Uh, it's the one that you know where the seniors hang out. But she's headed that direction, but you made the roll. You closed the gap on her. Describe to me what that is. Like, how do you how do you close the distance? Uh, pure, <laughs> just like Ivan Drago style running. <laughs> just fucking hardcore yeah, Terminator run. Just go. Yeah, it's it's that it's that weird uh, disconnect. When you watch, uh, um, oh crap, <laughs> I'm upset at myself for not remembering his name. It was the abomination in the Hulk, Incredible Hulk. Movie. Oh, oh god, you know who I'm talking about. You know, when he, uh, took, the, the, when he took the Captain America serum, and he yeah, started yeah, running, yeah yeah. yeah, 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 it's that like the, the motion tracks for running, but. He's going a little faster than what you should expect. So yeah, like um, you you burst out of the door um, again. Well, hmm. Yeah, whatever. You blow these doors off their hinges too. <laughs> oh my god! Boom! <laughs> uh, get outside. See that she's turned left to head towards Harper Hall, and you plant a foot into the concrete. It sinks in three inches. Just. Boom! As you stop, there's a little shockwave effect as you kind of turn on that heel and you see her and she's she's running and just in slow motion just has this horrified like, <laughs> what the fuck look on her face as you launch off of that foot <laughs> and it's just, yeah, like with each step you are just like closing, just, it's almost, it's, it's, it's a, a, almost a loping kind of run, like this bounding run as you just cook it after her. Blonsky was his name. <laughs> Emil mm. Blonsky, chat was helpful. Thanks, guys. Thank you, chat. Uh, Ismi, you were right behind. Well, you're right behind him for a second, and then he shoots off. <laughs> and, like, he's just going. Uh, and is about to close the gap between these two. Uh, what do you do? Oh, we're going to get a fight. Phone, 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 phone. And is gonna text uh, while she's turning. She's she's jogging slower for me because she realizes she's not gonna catch up to that. No. But she's still trying to keep it. Trying to like to to Zandra to say where we are. Um, and it, it ends with I've got a brick and I'm gonna use it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Zandra, you get to the bottom of the stairs and you get a text that says I've got a. It's a jumble of mess and then it says I've got a brick and I'm gonna use it. Yeah. Oh. You get a response as she's just kind of walking through the smoke-filled lobby, like, with a... She's she's actually got one of the sleeves of her coat here <laughs> over her mouth, and oh. she's just walking. And it's just a, a text back, do not get expelled, but there's a period between both, and she's added RTM to the conversation. <laughs> uh, RTM, your phone buzzes as you. So she is inches away from you, and hauling ass uh she looks like she's about to reach for something else like this time in her out of her coat what do you do um that grab for the belt like top of the pants back of the jacket grab and then lift (laughs) you describe the size of this person she's very small that's very true thinking of Um, artium size and just not not trying to wreck a person but just trying to stop them you would just yep. grab for that and pull and lift. <laughs> okay. Uh, I w- yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's athletics or coordination. Yes. Yeah, that... Oh, God. That almost feels more like athletics, but you're a very large boy. So that's, that's routine for you. 
A routine athletics test? Yeah, it's a routine oh, athletics Lord. test for you. That's uh, in be... fact, she's she's gonna she's gonna work it opposed with her uh, coordination, for me. which is pretty good. Uh, but for her coordination, it's gonna be the opposite. It's gonna be a uh, plus ten or minus ten rather. Oh, honey. Sixty-five. Oh, she crit failed. Oh no. She rolled a seventy-seven. That ain't gonna cut it. Uh. Yeah, I got another twelve degrees of success with a sixty-five. Uh, yeah, you sweep in, it's effortless. You reach up and pull her up by her waistband, um, which again, I will remind you, she's wearing a skirt. So like, as soon as she goes up, it's just her hands go back to cover up her butt. Oh, like, no. hey, whoa, what the hell? Drops yeah. all ninja tools. <laughs> yeah, and like, yes, like a whole bunch of kunai like fall into the, uh... yeah, two kunai, a couple of smoke bombs um, and a log somehow, just go <laughs> boom, 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 onto the ground. As you lift her up. Can't smile. Can't smile. I can't smile. Um, Xandra Sinclair, I can't smile. But the momentum keeps you going for a couple more steps because you are hauling ass. Uh, and the two of you are careening towards um, basically a collection of dumpsters on the quad. Uh, it's this little, like, um, it, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. It's, it's, it's like a, a slight concrete enclosure with just a bunch of dumpsters in it where you can throw trash and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's there's a kid who is like lifting up a bag and turns to look at the three of you. <laughs> and uh <laughs> just like braces. <laughs> <laughs> Cassandra or uh, not Cassandra, sorry. Um my brain. Um Xandra, which is where I was going. Uh, this is about the time you, you like you're you're coughing and you make it out the front door. Uh, Esme, were you still tailing after as you were jogging? Yes, yeah. So about twenty feet away, you see Esme, and then another like thirty past that, you see like the trailing dust cloud that is RTM with someone. He's got, he's got a girl by the butt heading towards the trash. Esme uh, or uh, Zandra, what do you do in this moment before? RTM's about to collide. Xandra's just gonna yell out, RTM, don't! As she's like, starts jogging backward. Like, there is... There, normally you see the anger on Xandra's face. You don't normally see it directed at you guys so much as normally just exasperation. But... There is just anger. Xandra doesn't know that. She just sees you hoisting someone up by the skirt. It's not that bad. <laughs> Good day influence on you. Honestly. I'm just you know flinging what? freshmen. It's not that bad. No, maybe Xandra just lets you get expelled. It's fun. Wow. Uh, Esme, anything out of you in this moment? Uh, she's just trying to, to keep up. Um, obviously, she jogs, so she lost a lot. And is just like... Oh, oh, dang. Oh, the nice affection. Don't let her go! <laughs> so don't, and then don't let her go. RTM, don't let her go. Yes, this was my plan. Uh, uh, RTM, you're about to smash into, uh, looking at them, probably a sophomore who is throwing their trash away. <laughs> um, they look confused, frightened, and like they're bracing for impact. What do you do? You are currently holding your classmate, Carla. Holding, uh, rotating Carla. Uh, uh, Carla back with the right hand. Uh -huh. He's going to slide to a stop just at like right in front and use his other arm to brace on the other side of the, <laughs> of the sophomore's head oh. and slam that hand into the dumpster. Is this a proposition so, now? It's a covered on yeah. with a person <laughs> in the other arm. Essentially <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Xandra stops in her tracks. Oh my god, okay. And okay. turns around. <laughs> just dead eye contact with the person that I just slammed in, <laughs> in front of. I need, oh my god, I need an athletics. This is a hard athletics. 
Or not hard, sorry, challenging. This is challenging. Or is this charm? Anybody else, this would be hard, but because you're RTOM, this is challenging. This is not charm. <laughs> Nothing about this situation is charming. Well, mostly. I don't know. It depends on what you're into. I'm not here to judge. Roll your damn dice. Uh, a 28. <laughs> Roll an 8? 28. Uh, still, though. Um, boom. Foot goes down to stop the, the forward momentum. Boom, hand goes down, hand is, is holding back. And just as you describe it perfectly, this poor person, we see it from their point of view, they, we just hear slam as they kind of wince a little bit and they open their eye and look. And then there's RTM. RTM, what do you look like as you're just like, like what expression does RTM have? Uh, I know it's something good. What? What's... What do they see when they're just like, and they look up at, and RTM's like there. He's just smiling. <laughs> he hasn't. He's a light beating of sweat. That's terrifying. His gear is open. <laughs> That's true, yeah. I am Artio. Actually, I just realized Nostrovia that. Nostrovia is like Nostrovia. cheers. Oh, it's, uh, fuck. I meant uh, hello. Fuck. I mean, that's still uh, also. Yet? No, there's a there's a more formal one that I was thinking of. One's cheeky. You just you just managed to be cheeky. Cheers. Huh? Even saying yeah. cheers is kind of yeah. like. <laughs> hey, even then. Um, uh, now that you've like stopped and you're looking down, yeah, you say you you say that like you know I'm RTM, and she goes, yeah. I remember. Um, you look down and <laughs> you see the uh, terrified, lightly quivering form of one Annie Keebler, which you may remember from. Oh! Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> hmm. I was uh, reading he... uh, Dolce Dania. The... Dolce Dania. He, was... he just bumped into Dolce Annie Dolce from Dania. the uh, episode zero. Yeah. Annie uh, Keebler, the, uh, the the small, uh, silver-haired, uh, frail girl yep, who it's her. liked to fiddle with a with a worry stone, and seemed to have kind of a <laughs> an air about her of of. Uh, you told me I had to work him back into the main I, show. I know, yeah. I know, I know, and I know now that they're uh, upperclassmen, and uh, yep, they're okay. I'm so sorry, Annie. <laughs> um, and she's just kind of looking up at you like, "Hi, Artyom." I'm just throwing my trash away. Uh, <laughs> I'm not interested, so... <laughs> That's what I was saying. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> I, um... It is, uh... It is funny coincidence that uh, we meet here, is it not? Yes. Not really that funny from where I'm sitting, actually. Um, <laughs> and, she, and she's actually, she's got the stone in her hand kind of like up, like she was about to do something, but <clears throat> didn't quite manage to uh, cast a spell in time, so to speak. Uh, just kind of lets it down. So I've thrown my, I'm just gonna, are you, and she like, she like looks over at Carl and is like, are you holding a, uh, you know, I've oh. got exams, so... <laughs> Rotates around. This is Carla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carla's a little too, like, like shell-shocked at the moment. She's just like, uh, well, Hello? <laughs> is what you're doing... <laughs> uh, Missy, or uh, Missy, sorry, this is, um... Annie. Annie. Uh, wrong character. Uh, Annie's just, is what you're doing legal, Artyom? <laughs> you hear it out in the distance. No. <laughs> and Zandra's just standing there with her arms crossed, just staring at the situation, like shaking her head. Okay. <coughs> I've gotta not be around you people, so I'm gonna go. And she just kind of slips under the arm. Have a good day. And then just like, it's like a slow walk into a fast walk into like a just like very quick little like. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get away from you. Like, Fucking echo run. Yeah, basically. Poor so, I just imagined so, having to be that character in that situation, being like, uh, <laughs> no. 
no. <laughs> She's just getting back to her room. Whatever happened, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> oh, wow. Accurate. Pet yeah. dog. <laughs> uh, Esme's trying to trot up behind, hopefully try and catch up at this point. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, the, the other two of you, like, uh, catch up as, as RTM, your hand is, like, stuck for a half a second, embedded in the metal, but you crunk it out. <laughs> Oh, you got her! You got her! Yes. Why? Car Carla, meet Zandra. Points. <laughs> <laughs> Carla looks over at Zandra and says, Help, I think they're trying to eat me. I'm not trying to put my mouth on anybody, but she could see Luther, Zandra. She could see Luther. She's a hot... Zan you mean the friend that periodically steers, steals my bed? And who sleeps in the beanbag chair? That's you. You can broke, but yeah, yes. Listen, I can't see it. No. She turns to look over at Carl. Why can you see? Why do you know Luther? Okay, somebody has to put me down first. Then talking can happen. Do you promise not to run away with cheap tricks again? I mean, I can make sure she doesn't run. Okay, one, it's an ancient and, and amazing tradition that dates back thousands of years, and two, yes. You she's still got her hands just trying to, like, cover the bottom of her skirt because she's being held up, just like... Oh. You promise? I swear... Yes. Okay. Know that Rasputin will take you in your dreams if you do not hold to your own. Rasputin? It's an amazing threat. <laughs> she kind of just like dusts herself off and like looks around and uh, surprisingly not a lot of attention has been drawn to what you're currently doing because everybody's trying to figure out what the hell happened on the first floor of the, the, the other building as people are slowly piling out. Like she kind of like looks over at that crowd and all right, not here, come on. Um, and she leads you, um, like, off the quad into a more secluded area, uh, or back and around the side of um, Harper Hall, where she was running to, one of the other residency halls. And she kind of gets you guys, like, back, finds, like, a tree, and puts her back to it. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, so I can see your stupid ghost. What of it? It is not nice. You do not call them stupid. You are too... I've never met anybody else who could see them, and I. So, can, but you, Lu, Luther knows you. How do you know Luther? You, you Who's don't Luther? See him. The dead guy. Yeah. Look, I don't know any of them personally. It's not like we were on a first name basis or anything. But you're like me, aren't you? You're one of the lost children. Does this ring any bells? Uh, for Artyom, not. Uh, he would need to make a. Is there like a history? Education. Equivalent to that in this. Education would probably be it if you were looking education. for something. Education. Uh, he would make a standard education uh, check. Um, Zandra, uh, I would have you also make a standard education check to know how much you know, because you would know this word. How much you know, you you're, uh, what did could you vary. What did you do? I succeeded. Uh, oh, I also succeeded, but it was a 44. I could okay. succeeded on lost children. I'm impressed uh, that you, you got it, considering the number you needed. I needed a 35, rolled a 31. Nice. Artyom knows that these two words separately mean one thing, uh, but together they often are capitalized. Um, it was There was a series of uh, kidnappings that happened. You guys were real, real young. Well, not really kidnappings as such. Um, it was a bunch of kids went missing. Uh, He's not really sure. He's a little fuzzy on the details. Um, and ended up with this cult or something. And Place on Font Terrible. Then, yeah. And, and then there was some kind of raid. And then those kids kind of like vanished a little bit. But it was bad. And people are still trying to track down like who the children involved in that were. But the FBI says like, eh kind of took care of the cults so and don't worry about it 
uh, Xandra remembers um, and knows from, from her reading and studies and stuff that, uh, yeah, it was a bunch of kids that were siphoned out of the um, foster system who uh, got pulled into this like weird cult. She doesn't remember the name of it offhand, but uh, some like weird cult that was, it was up to, they're not really sure. Nobody's really sure what they were doing, um, but they got their hands on a bunch of kids. It wasn't pretty. Uh, but like some real Waco kind of shit went down where she knows that uh, the FBI did some kind of big raid and just blew apart this compound uh, and that the uh, surviving kids out of that event um, kind of became known in the news after the story broke as the lost children because like their names and identities were never disclosed to protect their identity because like they were real, real, real young. And this all happened um, in the very early 2000s, you guys were super young at the time. I've done enough, enough research on it. I'm very glad I crit succeeded on your backstory, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> uh. Uh, Esme knows a lot. Esme doesn't need to write notes. <laughs> she doesn't need to roll. She doesn't need any notes. She knows exactly what all of this means. You mean the children associated with the cult in Montana? Same one. Hmm. She kind of tilts her head and is trying to place if she... What pod were you in? I don't know. It doesn't matter, does it? I... Look, I... I know that things happened there, okay? And, and and I know it was like bad for you or most people or whatever, but whatever it was never really touched me, okay? I don't know. Maybe I was in some kind of a control group for whatever their freaky experiments were, but I'm just fine. And I would very much like to just stay the hell away from whatever you've got going on. No, you, you just... probably tossed our room. No, 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 no. If she's from, if I, if she's from, if you're like me, you, you're fucking with us. I am not like you. She gets like really like defensively like, you see her get like visibly angry when you, when you say that. Why I'm not that, like you. Why does that make you so mad? Well, look at her, she's broken or whatever Take i'm a fine. big fucking step in nice and close you're going to apologize for saying that right now no i'm 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 so i'm, so, I'm sorry i'm sorry okay it's it's i'm sorry it's just we do not use that word for people <sighs> yes yes no but you but you know what i mean right like no i'm I not don't. like okay Suppose you wouldn't, weird foreign kid. Um, I am foreign, not stupid. Of course. Look, I'm I'm, I'm sorry. All right, and and I panicked and, and I ran and I, I don't know what. And she turns to ask me, I don't know what you're talking about with your room or whatever. I I just really. <laughs> My life has been a, a fucking shit show since I was eight years old. And now I'm like just starting to get it to be back together and it makes sense. And and, and I've got a real opportunity here at, at Firebrand and I don't want to fuck that up. And I don't want any of you to fuck that up. And again, he looks at Esme while he, or she looks at Esme while she's saying that. Blech. My brain's a little melty. It's like, I don't want anyone fucking that up for me or for me to fuck it up for myself. I just want to graduate and move on with my life and forget any of this ever happened, okay? Let me like um, put the hand in our team. I don't, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think she lost our room, I think. No, but she needs to learn better manners. Whatever, man. I know Are we done here? We, um... Luther only talks to me and there's Brooke, but... And if you don't want to talk to me, that's okay. 
but um you know if you want to talk to them too maybe that would you know you could do that because i imagine that you know the, just having to talk to me all the time would be really terrible so you know yeah if i never have to see him ever again it'll be too soon and she kind of leans back again and just gets really quiet and kind of stares at the three of you waiting to see what you do next hmm. weren't you guys going to see a very specific person regarding a security log issue yes but then a small person threw smoke in my face is that why the alarm went off? I was almost done fixing your figure, and Xandra just stops and claps her finger, like hand over her mouth, like. <gasps> oh, my smoke bomb! Sorry about that. The real smoke. I'm gonna pull out my phone and ignore the fact that everyone's looking at me and check my email. <laughs> oh no! You have as yet not gotten a response. Okay. We will go see uh, principal. Wait, about about the smoke bombs? I hope not to have to bring it up. No, no regarding no, the fact that our room was broken into and things were stolen and there was issues with the referees. Wait. Hang on, you had stuff stolen out of your room? That's why I thought you tossed our room. I, it would have made sense. We the least of the things we would have done to each other. You did act most suspicious when we tried to ask you a simple question. Yeah, because I was... Okay. Choosing to believe you here. I was spooked because someone stole a bunch of crap out of mine. What floor are you on? What floor are you... <laughs> Squint. Six. Uh, which she would also say, sorry, I'm not having to look it up real quick. <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't expecting us to do that. Um, you say six, and then she simultaneously says, uh, second floor, room 282. What did they take of yours? Um, some papers, uh, my camera, and, um, <clears throat> my, um, and she murmurs a response. Uh, what was the last part I did not hear? Was it panties? No. No! What, what? the hell? You were acting all way. Don't, don't. It you were acting all like stuff. It was a stuffed bear, okay? God. Oh. Shut up. It's a little stuffed. A little mm. stuffed personal bear. Things, personal things. Everything's personal. His name's Mr. Fuzzums, all right? Oh my god, I love her. Anyway, they stole a bunch of my crap, and I don't know, I was looking around trying to figure out what was going on, and I just... And again, she kind of like glances over it, not like like dead at Esme, but kind of just in her general direction. It's like, and I kind of just don't really trust people very much. So... You feel that. Um, well, we tried to ask the referees, and they had an error. Referees don't have errors? Yeah, they put us together! That's... It, there was an error on this one, or at least that's what it said. On the security log, there was an error regarding the time frame when we were in the... When did your uh, stuff get stolen? Wait a minute. We uh, were at the sixth floor block going to medical, which is when it happened. Yeah, same. Okay. That's why I thought they were fucking with us, right? Yeah. Why else huh. did you have an error? Oh. Uh, they don't get errors. I don't know. I... Hmm. What? It might be a good question for a uh, principal when we meet. Oh, I probably don't need this now. She put, takes the brick out and just kind of tosses it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I, I was going to bring you. <laughs> I love that visual. Just like, oh, I probably don't need this now. And we go to the wide shot. It's just slow remove brick. Funk. In the ground. <laughs> That very specific sound of a brick landing on a sidewalk. And Xandra <laughs> looks at it with eyes wide and going, you were not kidding about hitting someone with a brick in your text message. Why would I lie to you? Most people do. Uh, we are not most I, people. We are teammates. You really 
and oh, friends. Yeah. Xander almost falls over <laughs> with the strength of your <laughs> shoulder hit. Uh, okay. Um, so something weird's going on, clearly. And I don't like the fact that the only other one of us I've ever met at the school also had their room looked through. That's fucking scary. So, um, I'm going to go pick up my smoke bombs and my shuriken and my log. <laughs> and I'm going to go do some looking around. Why would you carry a log? Is it because I had the brick? Ah, <laughs> it is for training, it's not. Oh, I... A brick would be better. If they were going How much through, do you know? If it... How much do you know about the sacred art of the ninja? <laughs> Weep. I think in one episode of Maximum Spirit Season okay. 3, there was a battle with many ninja. Okay, so those are really, um, like, those are, <clears throat> that's a gross misrepresentation <laughs> of the ancient and powerful art of ninjutsu. <laughs> but it occasionally involves logs. There were no logs. Xandra's just over in the corner going, let's change the conversation, let's change the conversation. If they yeah. went through the lost children's rooms, why would they steal shit from the other people in it? Mm. Do I look like I have all the answers over here? I Did don't know. Did anyone take anything from your team? There are some theories, but uh, I think we should find out more information before we continue forth. Yes? Uh, also, here's the thing. is I got back to the room first, and I didn't and... really check in with either of them. <laughs> ah. Yeah. In retrospect. Oops. Not the worst. I get it. Um, but, yeah, they're not, they're not wrong. They, they, they're stuff was taken too, and not just mine. And like, personal stuff, like clearly not mine. Also, I have like, a bag, that's it. It's my bag, that's what I got. It's very clearly my stuff, so if they're only looking for my things, why would they take their things? I don't, I didn't take your thing, so I don't know, I don't maybe, have the, I'm maybe. Just, I am, I am but a simple ninja, I don't, <laughs> excuse me, shinobi. I am but a simple shinobi. I don't have these answers for you, but I I can go do some investigating on my own, maybe or something. I'm just um, saying maybe it's it's not it's not because we're 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 us, right? So maybe that's good. Hmm. You believe whatever you need to help you sleep at night. I believe we should go be finding what we can from the principal at this point. <laughs> I've already sent an email to Mr. Fryer alerting him to the situation. Have not yet gotten a response. No, it hasn't been long enough. Nope. He's uh, a busy man. Like, he hasn't responded to you, but this isn't atypical. You know he's super busy. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I He's like the dean of a college. I haven't talked to him in how many years. On the podium was the first time I've spoken to him in 13 of them. To catch up uh, our audience who didn't see the the the, the unaired pilot, um, <laughs> yeah. So during um, orientation, in order to fill time, uh, Vice Principal uh, Benjamin Fryer pulled poor Cassandra up on stage and asked her to Zandra. take words. <laughs> Sorry, that would give Cassandra a panic attack. This is why I call her Sasha. <laughs> Blah, brain is melting. Yes. Wait, so you sent an email to, well, we were going to go, you were going to go straight to the principal. I will say the principal will probably not see us, so I tried to send information to a person who might. We must always try. Well, you know, if, if that person will talk to you, because Miss Sinclair, she makes like a little uh, face. Yes. They may mistake you for someone that is part of family. Maximum. Wait, that's Sinclair? Yes, it is strange, right? By the way... Xandra's behind <laughs> Artyom just like... <laughs> just like... Shh. <laughs> uh, you, can't, you can't see the lower half of her face because she's got her scarf, but she still makes a motion. 
If we wish to get in touch with you again, I would like your phone number. And he pulls out an Nokia flip phone. Oh! <laughs> That's a I... dinosaur of a phone. I don't have a phone. Oh. We're in room 666. Hope you ever feel like coming up and... Uh... Of course you are. Yep. Yeah. Why have I heard um... that so many times? <laughs> and you're in room... Yeah. Uh, 282. 282. Yeah, just knock. Ask for Carla if I'm not there. I should be there. I don't know if I'll be there soon. I need to get food if by myself. Any, if we get any information regarding the robberies, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, I think. And you, big guy. And she, like, jabs a finger into your chest. Picking people up is very rude. Throwing smoke into people's face is very rude. Xandra pulls we'll up call her... it even. Xandra pulls yeah. up her uh, her skirt slightly and shows the bicycle shorts underneath and goes, "Do you get used to having to wear these around him?" That sounds really bad. That's terrifying. How many times have I gotten thrown over your shoulder? I'm gonna go turn into a log now. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, um, like and she starts to leave unless anybody stops her. Very confusing. Yeah, I didn't get mystical log powers. If she gets mystical log powers, I... No, but you got your ghost friends, right? Mm. But now she you believe me, right, though? Because somebody else has seen them. Luther says, that's true. Right? <clears throat> oh, and then, bye, Carla. Which, Esme notices, it makes Carla kind of shiver a little bit. Just like a... Uh, she's not comfortable talking to a ghost. I will admit it's strange that someone else is seeing your fire manifestations. That's not okay. <laughs> Listen, I you know, bought them a beanbag chair. That is as, mo as good as you're going to get from me right now. You know like how, how a certain somebody refuses to really put together certain facts? She like... Her eyes dart over to Artyom and then back to you. You know how dumb that seems? When faced with almost clear proof... I'd hate to look that dumb. And she Xander... turns around and is just like... And Xandra takes... looks around and uh, squints at a general area <laughs> where ghosts should be. And it's just like... <laughs> I don't see shit. I don't <laughs> listen. I'll believe it when I see it. And she just <laughs> walks away. As as you start to exit that frame, uh, Brooke is just behind where she was standing, <laughs> where uh, uh, Xander was standing, which Esme can notice, but nobody else would see. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying. <laughs> Brooke shrugs. <laughs> Um, I will say regarding the um, oh god, what awful thing did you call that thing? It was a, like a love cushion or something. It's a love sack. Love it's sack. actually it's actually a so brand of a beanbag chair. Love sack. Yeah. Um, but the, the you have not noticed anything strange about the love sack thus far. No. It just sits there most of the time. It's it certainly is like deformed or moved slightly, but I it's always... a beanbag chair. It should be people use yeah. it. Um, if Carla's still- Dougie sat on it once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if Carla's still walking off in the distance- Yes. Like, with the, mm, she's gonna- Actually, at this point, she's, like, scooping up, like, one kunai, two kunai. Oh, oh my god. Log. So which is not just under her arm. She's, like, chasing after her, because they're round, so she's chasing after where her, um, smoke bombs rolled off to. <laughs> just picking up all this ninja crap. <laughs> As we just takes her phone out and just, like, and just- Takes a picture, tucks it away. She doesn't notice you. She's very busy. Oh, she's having a day. <laughs> she's oh. having quite a day. To the principal's office, then. Yes. Well, our, you sent an email, so should we go somewhere else first? What do you think? Where what do you do? We go? Well, I'm pretty sure they're going to be in the same building where their offices are, at least. I you know, could wait for a response and just get our room back together, or... I had questions. I don't have answers for you. Oh, but... No, I have questions for... Principal. I wasn't <laughs> sure who you were regarding at the... 
time. Uh, unsure if he'll want to answer, but I mean, we can go to the. Yeah, fine. Let's just go towards their offices and see who we can find. Absolutely. As we're walking, uh, uh, Artyom would be keeping an eye out for uh, number three. <laughs> Oh, Stephen three. Council member Kurt Freeman? No. no. Kurt? No. Uh, Third dragon. Of, oh. Of Janitor. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Huh. Give, um, actually, as you're making your way, because <clears throat> there's just a massive crowd of kids now <laughs> out there on the quad. They had Whoops. to evacuate. <laughs> they had to evacuate the whole friggin' building, and they're only just now starting to, like, starting to file back in as as um god damn it i keep wanting to call them deck men now they're referees <laughs> uh, um though as, as as referees are like explaining like uh it was a false alarm caused by a smoke bomb in the first floor everything is safe your belongings are safe your roommates are safe everything is safe you may now re-enter the building please re-enter the building in an orderly fashion etc cetera, etc cetera. But there's just like there's a whole building's worth of these kids just kind of milling about being confused and carrying around various forms of like cutlery and <laughs> martial stuff. <laughs> um just a pan. A you... really big pan. Oh yeah. I thought you said pen at first. I'm like, yeah, somebody's got just a big fountain pen. <laughs> <laughs> it shoots ink. Actually, somebody does have a really big paintbrush. One of the one of them does have just a large paintbrush. Because of course they would. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Um, Get some Jean Quay up in here. That is, a, that is a specific character who you don't know yet. Um, but yeah, uh, as you're making your way through the crowd then, um, RTM, if you're specifically kind of, just give me a, give me an awareness at challenging. So minus 10. Perception awareness challenging, so it's negative 10, so 40. That's good looking out. Hmm. <laughs> you mind if I, this is to see are we at? Yeah, that's fine. You got scads of I'm points. Okay I'm done. Okay. Yeah, spend them. Spend them. Did it go down? No. There you go. Yay. Uh, I think you're over here for me. Yay. <laughs> New magic. <laughs> That'll do it. That's 25. Okay. Uh... Yeah, you're kind of making your way through the crowd toward the main building. Probably like shoulders above yeah, most which of the actually, students. Yes. You, it occurs to me, yeah, you're probably almost a head taller than damn near everybody here. If you can see the three other people in like <laughs> the entire freshman class. Oh, it's a knock over a DRD. Oh, no. no. Um, There's Eliza somewhere. There's... <laughs> And like, you, like yes, actually, uh, no, actually, you do not see Eliza. Oh. Noteworthy. Um, she, sh you should be able to see her head, and like the two other guys that are about your height. Um, her head is missing, but it's just like, yeah, the tall guy's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> little weird. little nod. Um, Eternity, you got. <laughs> <laughs> but we are you, tall. you I'll feel. You feel his presence before you see him. Uh, it's if if we were to see from like um like a like a sky view, uh, it, it would almost be like there's like one little dot moving towards a bunch of other dots, and those dots just just begin to like kind of bend out of the way of this one dot and create cre create this like empty feel. Those people are like, oh geez. Um, there's there's this this palpable malice in the air a, a a killing intent if you will that you can kind of feel in your stomach like it makes your inner fire feel colder it's weird and you do notice that um headed directly your way like like you're you're headed one direction and he's not walking straight in front of you he's kind of coming at you like almost perpendicularly but you can tell walking towards you uh let me get a description up huh? Uh, you see a man. Uh, oh shit! You're six. What? Eight. Fuck! He's shorter than you. Cause he's only like six two. <laughs> um, but you see a tall man. Uh, it, with 
uh, short, unkempt red hair. And I don't mean red like orangey or like ginger hair. I mean like a fire truck, red hair. Um, he is wearing, uh, let's see, he's wearing, what color suit would he be? He'd be wearing a black suit, honestly. He's wearing just this uh, black suit. He doesn't have like the, the the suit jacket buttoned or anything. It's kind of open. He's not wearing a tie. He's got the top couple of buttons undone on his, um, you're wearing a black shirt too? No, no, we'll say he's wearing a white shirt. He's He's got a real like, I'm a Yakuza looking motherfucker kind of thing going on. The the I'm wearing a suit, but I'm totally in casual mode. Hands in pockets. Yeah. Hands in, absolutely in pockets yeah. as, he's, as he's like stalking. Um, he also, again, you, if, if it weren't from the friggin', um, energy of it, you would know that this guy is a dragon because, uh, let me double check. It's yeah. He also has these small pointy, like ridge, like horns sticking out on the crown of his head. And around his eyes, he's got these like little scaled accents that kind of follow like his eyeline a little bit. He's got like um uh like Chicote. <laughs> it's kind of traces around the top part and side of his eye, and then along his jawline a little bit. His eyes, it's noteworthy. Uh I have a type and you just described it. <laughs> his his pupils are almost black. Like they're not as black as the black of his eyes, but whereas uh, Praelion's are a very light gray, his are so dark, like it's not brown. Those are definitely like a dark, almost black pupil. And he is stalking your direction. Oh, he's coming to us. He's coming to you. You know, you're basically because you kind of got your head on a swivel. You can tell Again, at first it's like you see the crowd kind of like dispersing and parting because you can see over most people's heads. And then you realize like out of the corner of your eye, like, oh shit, <laughs> it's that motherfucker. Ah. We may not have to talk to principal. What? Did you figure out who took our stuff? What just, do you mean? Just kind of just hands around their shoulders and just turn in their direction in, in the direction of the dragon. Of uh, of Astros, yeah. Astros. Oh. Do you feel this? Oh. Oh. Do now. Oh. Come, let us speak. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> kind of like... Actually, yeah. Uh, I want resolve tests from uh, both Esme and um, Zandra. And... Do, 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 do. Uh, for Zandra, actually, it's a bit challenging because she understands the full weight of this situation more so than the other two do. It is challenging, challenging, like negative twenty, challenging. No, uh, no, challenging, only negative ten. Oh shit! Okay, yeah. negative ten. Sorry. It would be easier if I started using the numbers. I'm sorry. And that's a, that's a good shorthand. By system te terminology is the is the I, sayings. I always the way I usually did it with Andaman, uh -huh. I tried to say, I would say, it's a challenging, so that's a negative 10. Okay. That's 45. what I'll do going forward. My apologies. We need a 55. Can I have a point? You can't use the skill with the skill right now. Oh, that's right. No, I'm not using my skill. That's 55 okay. is my roll. I just wanted to make sure. That's without adding anything. I rolled a 57. I uh, need a 55. Mm. I was asking if I could have a point, uh, but yeah. that's fine. If not, that's, that's They're there. Fine. Let's use them. I'm like, it's not the worst roll. Although I say that now, and I'm about to roll shit because I did. Yeah, definitely burn up all of your points before you get into a conversation with Actually? a big angry red dragon. I'll do it. Yep, I did it. I succeeded. Okay. 41. Good. Uh, you, you both succeeded in your resolve checks? Fantastic, your legs still work. They are heavy. And you don't want to do this. Zandra's... Like, everything in your brain is screaming that this is a bad idea, but you can still move. This is a familiar, I, but I, terrible... I, now I realize I within a month and two weeks of me being at the school, I will be within feet of all three dragons. And I'm sitting there going, I would like to go back to the room now. Um, 
but but when Xander gets nervous, her face shuts down and just looks angrier. <laughs> I'm like, how can we tell? It's just you can't. You you can't tell if she's actually angry or if she's nervous or upset or thinking about something. It just there just lack void of emotion except for just sharpness. I get that from a very specific family member. <laughs> to contrast uh, her team member, uh, Esme has more of like a cloistered but blushing across the face response as she's grabbing onto both of them. Well, what are we doing? <laughs> <coughs> we shall speak to Asteros. Speak. Mm. Mm. Uh, okay. <laughs> you, you walk over. Um, Esme, you notice two things immediately. Uh, one, Luther's gone again. He just zoofed out of there, vanished. Two, as he's moving towards you, you see what looks like a train of forms behind uh, Asteros. Like, gray... <laughs> humanoid figures that you can't focus on and the moment you try to it's like they vanish but if you're not really looking at them it feels like you see this field of people behind him it's an odd sensation my stomach keeps rumbling ominously every time you say something <laughs> oh. scary and like i know um, Zandra to stand in his presence, like, because like the crowd eventually parts, and like you, you're maybe ten feet from each other. Looking at him is like looking at a cross between. <laughs> it's like being five years old and looking at a cross between an angry parent, a cop, and God. <laughs> It is terrifying in a very primordial sense. It's it's the kind of thing of like where we have a fear of bugs and snakes because we our, our DNA evolved such that we knew that those things could kill us forever. So we're the inheritors of that fear. It's like that. Like, hey, this is one of the people holding our entire human race hostage. So that's you, Art yeah. I am Artyom. <laughs> Artyom... Um, being near this guy, you've, uh, it's, I mean, you're not wrong. There's a lot of RTM energy just sort of, like, shielding you from this. But you kind of feel hot. Like, your body feels hotter. Hmm. Um, and, and I don't, and chat, don't take that in some weird direction. I mean that, like, the literal temperature that you could measure with a thermometer feels as though it has raised. <coughs> <clears throat> Pardon. Your body just feels hotter. <clears throat> he, he sees you, RTM, and his eyes just narrow. He starts to say something and raise a hand, and none of the three of you know where the hell she came from. Suddenly, Praleon's in front of you. Standing between you and Asteros, she's got her back towards the three of you. She also has her hands in her pockets, and she's just staring him down. And there's this long, not a long pause, but there's this beat. There's this really, it's, it's, it's a heartbeat's length. It feels like an eternity. And she just goes, Asteros, we talked about this. And he kind of sneers a little bit, snorts just a <laughs> <coughs> nods very lightly at her. And then she turns um, over her shoulder. She just kind of nods at the three of you, just. <laughs> and you hear like the clip clop of her heels as she starts to walk away. And. He, uh, the, the hand that was coming up, you notice that unlike hers, which looked like very normal human hands, uh, his kind of terminate in these like clawed points. 
like the scales pick up like halfway down his fingers and terminate in mm. red, these blood red Shomaru claws. Shomaru fingers. <laughs> Make it worse. <laughs> and he... he... <laughs> like, it doesn't look like he was going to shake your hand. Like, it looks like he was going to dot 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 interrobang? Like, <laughs> something, something terrible. But, like, then he kind of, like, brings his hands down and folds them in front of him. And just kind of like stare. He just stares you down for a second, RTM. What do you do? <clears throat> uh, it is a pleasure and honor to meet one of the last dragons I have yet to meet. Uh, there is something wrong with technology that you have brought to us. <laughs> You three are trouble. We have been told that. There was an error want? with the security logs of one of the referees. Referees don't have trouble. Ah, but we were told by a referee that there was error. Oh god, he can't lean down into you. You're taller than he is. I can't believe you're taller than one of the dragons. <laughs> That's illegal. Um, he could lean down on any one of us, <laughs> except for Artyom. <laughs> he takes two steps forward, and even though he is shorter than you, you feel like he's bigger than you. You are looking down at this man by several inches, and it feels like you're craning back to look up at him. It's a very bizarre sensation. And he looks you in the eye, Artyom. And says, uh, hmm, actually, whew. yeah, this wouldn't even be contested. Um, he <laughs> says, there are no errors in the referees. And he, there's this growl to his voice. And you notice that, like, as he speaks and, and, like, opens his mouth a little bit more, you can see that his canines are enlarged. Like, they're, they're not, like, you know, vampire teeth, but he's got pointy teeth. Uh, um, I would very much like you to make a uh, a hard, so negative 20, resolve check on this guy. Also, I gotta get you guys rolling some of their skills. If they don't have errors, she kind of peers out, her face all flushed, then that would mean the compound had better <laughs> security. My one. He glances at you, Esme, and there's just this low growl. I, I succeed by one. <laughs> oh my god. Congratulations, you don't shit your pants. And may continue to stand in his presence. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because <clears throat> you almost, like, again, you're, if your brain had a voice to itself, like, it, there's some, some part of you in Russian is screaming <laughs> at you. <laughs> blit, blit, blit. <laughs> Get away. Don't talk to this guy. Whatever Praleon said, just bought you a, a reprieve of execution. You know this man could kill you on the spot and face no repercussions, and it would be trivial to him. <clears throat> uh, if that is true, then, then it was not error that referee told us it was... Yes, referee 969 told us there was error. We, I would not lie to you. I am not no, that stupid. If you lied to me, I would kill you where you stand. This is true. So I would not do such a foolish thing. But our room was broken into, and many of our things were damaged, and some were stolen. He looks up at the building. Just kind of frowns. We requested for information from referee 969 about what had possibly happened while we were away. It told us error. It's not just us, though. It's not just us. Carla had something taken from her, too. Yeah, uh, yes. Room 282 that? also had such a break in. We are concerned about security on grounds now. 
<coughs> we were on our way to go possibly speak with Principal Menneth, uh, but we happened upon you first. Lucky us. Yes. It is not my job to sweep up after every little mess you humans make amongst yourselves. I have bigger things to deal with. But if there is something wrong with the referee system, you know, he actually, he just kind of like turns and just, he doesn't even shout. He just says, unit 969. And you see through one of the windows, it just, it doesn't crash through. <laughs> the window, the window opens and it like, it turns sideways to like slide nicely out um, the window of one of the dorms. And it, what it was doing up there, who knows, but it just kind of whoops out and it very quickly, like it's, it's, it starts, um, it, it comes out very gently, but then it's a little like green, or sorry, green, I'm colorblind apparently. It's a little blue um, band turns solid red and he just like goes like like he he pulls forward with his with his clawed hand and it very quickly just woofs down to his side and it's just there instantly didn't know they could move that fast and with one swift motion he pulls back his arm and scoops out the guts of this thing just woof. its light goes dim and it clatters to the ground uh, when you say it's guts, it's all cybernetic. It's all just like cybernetic nonsense. You have no okay. idea. Good question. I, understand. I, I get it. it. Sorry, sorry. It there was a lot no. of deck men conversation before this, <laughs> so I didn't know how close the Apologies. reference was. There's no brain in there. There's no like heart. There's no goo. Sorry. The <laughs> electronic like cybernetic guts of this thing, just like wires and crystals. You're not really sure. Like this is honestly, this is the most anyone has seen of the inside of one of these things. Is he just like? rumps it out crushes something and then like doesn't even throw it he just like releases it over the corpse of this thing and two other um god we gotta stop saying deck men it's killing me two other referees come by and just like start to scoop it up and take it away I, i'm pretty sure it was a log issue well Problem not solved. local I'm gonna make getting i'm sorry you know how these things work I'm sorry, I know how to computers work. I just it You know is... nothing. You're a human. Shut up. Now. Anything else that I should be informed of? So he's kind of trying to like look back at the behind him. Like she's she's her eyes are like looking at him uh, and then looking behind, trying to and it... Nothing. Yeah, again, it's it's weird. Like as, as you focus on them, it's like they kind of fade away. It's like the more you're not looking at them, the more in focus they are in a way. It's odd. It's like it's something you can only see out of the corner of your eye. But there is a lot of them. And it makes you feel really uncomfortable. I mean, everything about this makes you feel really uncomfortable. That makes you feel extra uncomfortable. Yeah. Incidentally, there is a small crowd of students, but like they have been getting further and further away from you the, as this conversation mm -hmm. has gone on. And several of them like jumped and yelped in surprise when he just went woof into that thing, into the into the the referee. Uh, That's gonna make getting the information about who stole our things harder now. We'll look into it. Are you done wasting my time? I believe that pretty much covers it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. She just runs. <laughs> what? What did she shout? Thank you very much. She's like, thank you, you very much. <laughs> and teleports he herself just... behind and. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your your time. We are. Very honored and uh, I'm privileged like, to be in your. Does he know who we are or what room we were in? Presence. To look into it. I don't know. It's fine. I'm not gonna Art. say it. Uh, Artyom introduced himself. I thought. Yep. Yeah, he did. Oh, uh, Artyom. 
Yep. Okay. Yeah. I think you guys just said RT Elm, but then there's not a lot of RT Elms running around. That's so, true. <laughs> I, in fact, I, I, I feel sure. comfortable saying he's the only RT Elm on the roster. <laughs> Weirdly, other yeah. Russians, he's the only RT Elm. I was not sure, so I needed to check before. That's fair. Okay. I'm good. Uh, however, Zandra is is pretty much almost rooted to the spot. It just takes like half a step back when she realizes that Esme moved and the movement just kind of broke this little trance that she had. Corner of her mouth twitches a bit and she blinks and goes, have a nice day. And she turns and starts walking back towards the dorm room. Wait. You three. No, I've decided I've changed my mind. I'm not done with you yet. May pokes her head out from behind Artyom. <laughs> oh my god, he didn't actually. Okay, Xandra just she stops hid and just... in the the monolith of her teammate. Xandra <laughs> wears like these wooden heeled boots and literally in a fluid motion just turns on the heels <gasps> to queen. face him again. Queen energy. She may have taken a liking to you creatures. I can still have my fun. You. And like just points at um, a, a, a pair of students that are like talking to each other out there on the quad. They just kind of like turn and look at him and say nothing. They're just like staring and shaking. Your team. These three. Now. And like. The, the the two kind of like uh okay um and um one of them turns and shouts to somebody across the quad and the other one starts like walking over uh da -da 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 -da. moment while I get up a description of these people oh I don't have descriptions of them yet that's right um uh it's just uh let's say it's um dude he looks um. He looks East Asian. He's got a pair of goggles on his head. Um, very short blonde hair. Um, it's kind of spiky. Um, he's uh, blue pants, red shoes. And not necessarily. <laughs> I just grabbed things as they right, came into my brain. All right, I grabbed anime parts. No, he's wearing <laughs> he's wearing shorts. He's wearing red shorts. And uh, big bright red sneakers. There you go. How about that, <laughs> asshole? And, <laughs> and he's just kind of like sheepishly walking over. And he's like, uh, and and looks at the three of you and and like looks kind of towards you, but doesn't know who to address, <laughs> and doesn't really want to quite look at at Astros and, and just kind of like is uh. wringing his hands. Uh, I, sh our team would like to issue a challenge to your team. Uh, uh, Sir, our team accepts. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I right. would you like to tell Astros that we are busy right now? <laughs> a referee just like a pee, like whoo, out of out of crap. <laughs> it appears that you're trying to set up a challenge. Would you like some help? <laughs> yes, please. Oh God, I would like help. Like you have no idea. <laughs> uh, she kind of like. Shaky hand reaches over and baps at Zandra. I really. Who's already started rolling up her sleeves to show off the needle? Like, it's just that I don't feel so. Is it Luther's gone. I don't know if. I'm sure you'll be fine. Well, do not worry. Don't worry. I'll keep you up. My job, right? They'd have to get to you first. Astros kind of snarls. You know how this works. Establish terms in an arena. Uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 challenger know. does those things. Yes. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Um, I uh, uh right. Um, I'm Jan. By the way, it's uh, it's hi. Um, that's my name, Zandra. Um, cool, cool. Uh, we're sure. Uh, Ruby and um, Calum will be here in a second. Calum, hurry up with Ruby. Um, uh, hi. Uh, and Astros behind him just shouts, just, uh, terms! He just shouts, like, right, yes, I would like to challenge you to 
uh, fuck. Um, do our laundry for a week. Is that okay? Is that sound okay? Uh, we we accept said terms, and in response, we yeah. request the same. Yes. I was gonna say pay Dougie, but I guess yeah. <laughs> Dougie's not even here. Uh, yeah, Dougie did not help in this situation, <laughs> and he has been cut, paid. Okay, I was cut to somewhere, Dougie. Dougie gonna get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Dougie gets his. Just from the from the crowd. <laughs> oh, Dougie! <laughs> Teleportation power manifests. Here to get paid, baby. <clears throat> uh, you okay, do so. our laundry for one week, yes? Uh, uh, at, at which point, um, uh, Ruby, who is a, let's say, um, average height, uh, pale skin, um, she has got, uh, red hair is too obvious, so of course she's got, let's say, brown hair, uh, in a ponytail, like a, a really high ponytail, she's got kind of, uh, just cascading down her, uh, back, um, immaculate makeup it's just incredible um and standing next to her is a gentleman uh who is uh completely bald no eyebrows um he's kind of like the anime version of him he's got like the the brock eyes from pokemon where they're like they're open but they're closed yeah you know? yep that kind of thing he's got that kind of look to him um or uh, oh god there's a there's a king of fighters character actually goro diamond like that. goro yeah goro diamond shut up <laughs> <laughs> There's a big Goro Daimon looking motherfucker um, who's, uh, he's, he's, he's not as tall as you, Arteon, but he's as wide as you, Arteon. And like, he's, it's like, ah, yes, respect muscle. You know? <laughs> muscle, 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 respect muscle. respects muscle. muscle. Kind of look to him. Um, in fact, yeah, he's, he's, um, he's, he's not wearing a shirt. Screw it. He's not wearing a shirt. He does have, um, like big black pants on, but he's also, he's wearing the, the Goro Daimon fucking, um, wooden, wooden sandals. sandals. He's wearing the fucking wooden sandals as he like walks over. The peg sandals. Was it Genka? Is it? Or? Kinda. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what those are called. Uh, Geta, I think. Right? But, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's wearing like these big fucking wooden sandals as he, as he like stomps his way over. Um, but those, those two kind of arise. It's, Laundry? Is that good? It's like, <laughs> and uh, Caleb just kind of <laughs> <laughs> says nothing. <laughs> um, okay, great. Uh, uh, <laughs> and the referee jumps up. Excellent. You have defined terms. Please uh, choose the location for the fight. Um, Here? Uh, well, quad's kind of an awkward place, but yeah, screw it, I guess. Um, sure, just, um, just here on the little, on the quad, Mr. Referee Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. Uh, Arena, uh, has been registered. Uh, and at that point, he, the, the, uh, is his little, uh, ring goes, uh, turns, uh, blue, scans, does the whole, like, scan of you guys. Um, does the the kind of uh, scan of the area floats up a little bit and says uh, the fight is now ready to begin and God bless the ring and is Astros just mm -hmm. chilling nearby watching and yeah like as soon as soon as it says God bless the ring he just kind of like folds his arms and just has this this it's not a shit eating grin like your father has. It's like the sort of grin a cat would have watching a mouse in a box. Like it is bone chilling to like look a little, at. Like a worm on a big fucking hook. Yeah. Uh, and then it gets a little weird on our time, so we're at ten forty ish now. We can do a round, see how far we, we get. get. We can get into this. You know, we're gonna get into this. Um, might run slightly late tonight, folks. Just want to give you a heads up. But yeah, let's roll. Oh no. For initiative. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a quick fight. You guys tend to be Ooh. ass and they are a they are a group that does not want to fight you. <laughs> to be completely fucking honest. There's eight plus perception, right? Yes. I or do. D10 plus perception. D10 plus yeah. perception bonus. Alright, cool. 
Okay. And roll so like crap. Just... What are you doing? Okay. Uh, okay. okay, real quick. Oh my god, the way. And I just need to do some rolling for a bunch of people's initiative. Real quick. Oh my god, Ghoulie, why? <laughs> oh my a god. One. I hate like, everything. Like fat okay. kids like chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> Last episode of Curse School. Oh no! There we go. That's a that's a way better number. And then finally, what you do? Oh yeah, that's way better. Now we're getting now we're getting some good numbers. All right, uh, Xandra, what'd you get? Thirteen. Thirteen, solid. Uh, Archel. Thirteen. Ooh, okay. Uh, but your PB is higher than Xandra's, as I recall. Four. I believe yours is five, whereas hers is, is five. There you go. Four. Yep. Uh, and then Esme? Six. No. Oh, she's she's not feeling she's having a, a heck a heck of time. Wait, what'd you roll? Oh. 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 Oh, oh. honey. Dear. Okay. She said she asked if it's not. She did. Uh yeah, well, I mean, hey, Ruby rolled a nine. <laughs> Caleb got a sixteen. Jan got an eighteen. Okay, so they're taking two, and then we're taking two. Yep, it's going to go Jan, well, I mean, it'll be roster, but yeah, they get two, you get two, they get one, you get one, basically, is how that shook out. So, uh, they are going to lead off real quick, as I'm just setting up my little combat tracker of combat joy. Our standard little defensive delta formation we get we, we do at the beginning of the fights. Our two uh, more points. It's... It's gotten a little overcast as as this as time was going on, and right as this rain uh, that right as this rain starts up, right as this fight starts up, the very beginning little pitter patters of rain begin to start. Oh, that's going to factor very well for fight sequencing. I'm very excited. I also going to up the animation budget though. Yes, it is going to up the animation. <laughs> I just budget. prepared for all the students. We're like, oh no, my books, they're wet. Runs outside. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, we're just gonna have um, we're gonna have Jan start off because he's like, okay, I guess we're doing this, uh, and he is just going to spend one of his AP to what is it, hustle or whatever? Yeah, mm -hmm. hustle to get uh, into range with. I mean, RTM's right up there at the front. So he's going to spend one to get up there, and he's going to spend a second AP. He's just going to attack. He's just going to it's going to have a real boring, kind of straightforward, medium-style attack. I don't know why my voice is going like that. <laughs> We're going to stop doing that. He's, he's using the safe Higher. button. Higher. Yeah. He's using um, that safe button. He's, he's coming in. He's just crouching yeah, medium. Just, there you go. I'm just going to, yeah, basically, yeah. He's going like, to walk up, crouch, throw out a medium kick, see what happens. Uh, all right. He rolled a hot 63. This is not going to cut it. Um, so yeah, so uh, he he closes the distance with uh, RTM. It's like, it's like step, step. And it's just this really half-hearted, like, right cross, like, at you. And it's just like, you can tell he's really distracted. And it doesn't even take anything to get out of the way of it. He's just like, uh, 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 uh. he seems completely off his game. Like, there's no there's no strength to his form. And that's his whole turn. Doesn't go well for him. Uh, we're gonna have Calum act next, and he uh, is going to. Hmm. So, if someone's trying to like it, it, the way you're positioned, Artem mm -hmm. is kind of between them and his two buddies here. So Caleb is actually. Let's see. What what options do I have for moving past somebody without? You could technically them. come in at an angle so that you wouldn't be disengaging, but still be within range. Because hmm. I'm not blocking. Okay, yeah. I'm not blocking the only way to them. That's true. You That's could, true. You could go that... slightly around. Okay. So yeah. So basically, he would be engaged with. So he's he's kind of, um, he he kicks off. The sandals and uh like like as he 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 is like not a run in the sense of a charge mechanically speaking but he runs while uh it's kind of around to get towards where 
uh, Zandra is to the side. So he'll end up engaged with both Zandra and Artyom. But he, like as he does it, like boom, one sandal kicks off, boom, the other sandal kicks off, and he's just like barefoot running across this concrete now, essentially, um, starting to splatter a bit in, in, as as the rain begins to come down. Yes, basically. <laughs> um, so he's going to spend an AP to close to that, and then I think he's going to do. <laughs> Don't it's better than your mac and cheese noise. It's fine. Oh, I'm just trying to chili can. Mac and cheese noise. <laughs> Cannot laugh. Uh... Cannot laugh. He's gonna go for a. Oh god, that's horrifying! You know you're allowed to laugh out of character. It is okay. <laughs> no, because if I do, I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> got it. I just uh, got going... rid of the bite mark on the inside of my cheek from last week. Oh, honey, sexy. Uh, he's gonna go for a perilous stunt. He's going to attempt a stunning blow Ooh. on Zandra. So like yeah he's he's coming in and then it's I just like this giant that. paw is coming at poor Xandra's head. So that is I believe an athletics test on my part. Resisted by toughness. blow. Resisted by your toughness. So you have to roll it first. Yep. Let's try and make this athletics test. I rolled a four. So yes, I don't even have to look at his stats. I know he succeeded. Resist toughness. Oh uh, failure. Sick. So, do 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 do. You want to fortune it? I have to roll a 35. I'll just stick near you for carrying okay. most I can do right now. And beginning but hey, of, I could still technically. Beginning of every turn. Hit two of them. You roll that resistance, by the way. Okay. But your next yeah. activation, you start at two. Mm -hmm. Can't parry that. Balls. Yeah. All right. So I made a small note that you are stunned at present. Uh, and that also cost him his second AP for the turn. Yeah, as as he comes in, and for a big dude, big dudes have a lot of muscle, and muscle can translate into speed. Um, and he gets in there and, uh, like, grabs uh, kind of your upper arm, like, not your upper arm, like, uh, the upper arm of your shirt, sort of grabs that and and pulls in with one and then delivers this, this just massive gut punch with like he lets go with the left hand as the right arm like palm strikes into your your solar plexus almost just knocking the wind the hell out of you just boom and it's y'all's go you have two activations uh i could try to hit multiple people yeah the two of you should go first cuz i can reserve my ap to help defend also they're in a tight enough grouping that we might be able to both do our AOEs to get the most out of it right now before they yeah. parse. Both of you go. Get the two of them literally right next I to us. I don't know how many I can get into a cone template. Oh, I should probably describe the scene a little bit better. True. Um, so, um, you guys are in your little triangle, essentially. Mm -hmm. God, I wish I had, like, I need, like, a <clears throat> whiteboard. That's what I need. You guys are in your little triangle. Uh, and so, up here with RTM, straight at him, is Jan. So, this is, our, this is, this is Jan. Uh, friggin Calum came around so he's over here next to to you uh so those two are kind of in a line directly behind Jan because she was still coming up is Ruby so they're in kind of a like uh one two three like a fucked up L shape essentially <laughs> they're they're forming around us right now <coughs> for the for the in the in the arrowhead that we're in they're forming around us but one hasn't come in to take up the position in front of you kind of yeah so you could definitely get two of them. I could get move... Jan and uh, Ruby if I don't immediately target Caleb in front of me. Uh, actually, I would say that you could definitely get Caleb and Jan or okay. Caleb and Ruby unless you were to disengage and kind of pull back into the right a little bit. Then you could get all three, but you'd have to move to do it. I'd have to move. And you're short on AP. No. I'm not going to. Okay. Um, well, okay. I'm going to go first with this one. And I'm going to do my resistance. I rolled a 19, so I successfully yeah. resisted the Hot stun. Damn. So for next no time, I will have three AP. Correct. But this time, I still have two. Reason she why I'm of... staying with you is I'm going to use the unique attack. So as he comes in with the fist and yeah. punches my <sighs> gut, the, the moment where the water just kind of gets shook off and you see it in the animation, but uh, the one leg that started going back just swivels to catch herself in a very pirouette style motion. 
Oh yeah. And there's like that that trail of water goes whoosh, that's that spray. And she's going to reach up into her uh her bracers, uh-huh. stare at Caleb in the eyes, and then just let loose and I'm gonna try to get Caleb and Ruby, I believe it is. Okay, yes. With yeah, basically the, Caleb and one uh, of the needle want. flurry. Absolutely. Bring it on. Uh, so that is uh, 21, so that will succeed. Okay. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> it is uh, fast, so they have a negative base chance to dodge or parry. But this Oof, is a yeah. dodge because it's... This uh, is a dodge. Range. Um, oof. Caleb's actually going to hang on to his AP, so he's going to get hit by it. Uh, Ruby's going to go for the dodge, however. She's back there like... Mer. Okay, so this is, this is a negative because it's fast, so... Oof. Yeah. All right, honey. Here we go. Let me dodge. <coughs> oh, you just didn't make it. You just didn't make it. Mm. I've got like a pile of misfortune, though, right? I've got like mm. four misfortune. Oh yeah. I'm gonna spend one. I'm gonna spend one every roll that. <coughs> Not that it mattered. She rolled an eighty-six. Ooh. <sighs> so she blew that AP for no good fucking reason. Uh, yeah. Um, they've. Uh, what is that? That does that does nasty things. What does that do to it me? It just does do uh, peril instead of damage. So basically, right. it is long. It's a D10 thin plus your acupuncture acupuncture needles being thrown at a distance. It requires like a lot of accuracy. Yeah, do do some peril at me. Mastery. And remember, you roll that on a D10 because it's not regular uh, damage. Nine peril. Nine peril. Uh, okay, so Caleb gets hit for freaking nine. Good damn. Uh, that's a, that's enough to hit him for one. Boom, he's imperiled. Uh, and uh, is it one roll for both of them, or? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then, okay. So both of them are imperiled. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, wait, hang on. That's the wrong character. That's not Ruby. That's Ruby. Oh, actually, oh, that's right. Ruby's got a much higher... She does not get imperiled, but only just. Only just. Oh, she's um, not Only of me. Uh, do, 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 do. So, uh, yeah, uh, Caleb gets caught completely off guard because he's like right there, and you, and then it's a flash, it's out, those needles like just, and then foo, 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 like up his arm. We see like uh, one like sticks into his wrist, and like two more up in here. And because uh, it's physical peril, right? Yeah. And like he slumps back for half a second and like grabs his arm, and kind of like pulls it into him. It's like, ah, there's no blood or anything, but like his, it's like his arm is kind of starting to go numb. Uh, as for uh, Ruby, uh, she, quick sec, look at her fighting style. Uh, as they're uh, coming in on her, uh, you actually see, uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? They, they fly in it, and it looks like they just go doof, doof, doof right into her. Um, but then you realize uh, she's actually standing about a foot to the right, and there's a log there. It falls to the ground. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Look. Leaves. But do they have any leaves? Because if there's a leaf as well, we'll find out. I mean, uh, it could be the hidden rain because it's raining. Uh, it is still y'all's go. I'm just okay. so if, if, if Sandra is done, then it's on to either Archelm or Esme. Yep. Um. I am taking negatives for casting because of my peril, but I was thinking... We're not taking negative, you're well, not getting your skill right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's six and one half to the other, but yeah. And it's still routine because it's yeah. still easier, so you get that skill right back. It just balances out. So yeah, so it's a, it would 65. be a 65 to cast. <laughs> not bad. All right. Um, Esme's actually going to try and... She's kind of like positioning herself a little tighter than usual, closer to the backs of you. <laughs> um, trying to figure out um the most because it's a burst template from me what's the range of the burst <laughs> i believe it's my willpower bonus in yards uh you can move it up to your yeah. bonus and not yards yeah it's three plus willpower bonus on for on my turn it's four to vermin burst is a specific template size template Fair. Um, that's i'm a thing. bad player i do not have that on oh my wait that's right it is isn't it <laughs> how big is burst <laughs> I feel like we have well, a conversation that I'm probably derping. A, a burst will radiate outwards in a circle with a diameter of six yards in all directions. 
Okay. Select a point of origin within sight, uh, whether it is a creature, object, person, whatever. Okay. So and the bird then takes effect. Tuck in behind me. Yeah. You can get both of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, easily. Yeah, that's, um, I was six, trying to figure out, like, positioning-wise, how, how to... Six yards would probably hit all three of them, depending on where the uh, point of origin is. Oh, yeah. What's the point of origin? The point of origin is you? Well, it has okay. to start on her. Yeah. It has and to then start on, her, on me. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah. Um... If you just slid up behind me, you'd definitely... It actually, if yeah, she stayed put, RTM, she'd hit both. Yes, the two would, in melee. For, yes, it would yeah. definitely hit those two. You, I think you'd have to move a little bit to hit Ruby as well. But to hit Ruby, I would have to Dude. expose myself. Take care of the two in front of us. <laughs> stay, okay, yeah. sa stay safe while maximizing yeah, damage. that's what I would... All right, so let's, let's spend the Don't two expose yourself here. on Twitch, please. We're trying to try not to get canceled. What? Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm tired. I tried to make a joke about exposing yourself. It was ill-advised. I canceled it halfway through that trying to tell it. I shouldn't have. I would say use it. How many do we have left? Two. Two? Uh, yeah, use it. Yeah. Use them or lose them, y'all. That's why they're there. <laughs> no. It's not going to happen. Um, Shit. So, like, she, she goes to tuck in to try and do it, and she's just trying to, like, come on, come on. Wait. Nine, oh, that is nine, a Yeah, I know. Nine Sorry. and six is Read dyslexia is a thing. She's just shaking. And, Hold on, and Luther's not here, but that doesn't mean no one's here. And she's she's just really occupied, just starting to have that the panic like in the room again. Uh, and that's it. Wait. It's only one AP to do. No. More words. I mean, yeah. You've got you've got perilous stunts. You've got special actions. Oh, it's very hard for me to do right now, though. I might as well just hold them. Uh, no, use them or lose them. I'm the defensive bulwark right now, so use it. Okay. Uh, she's just trying. She's trying to like work herself up through the the panic. She's like, I, <laughs> I'm gonna light you up like a jack o' lantern. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, like a smiling, really beautiful smiling jack o' lantern. Three uh, fortune, one misfortune. Whoa! Tomorashi. Whoa! What? Ah! Whoa! Let's take a look at the chat. Oh, damn! Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you! Evened and, it out. And that will go off, so they will take the negative one to both their peril and damage, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, wow. Okay. Jesus. Uh, and that's just on, uh, God, that's Jan and Caleb? They just no, it's everybody for... that can hear her. Oh, God, that's right, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both damage and peril go down by one. Fucking hell. Whew. That's, um, that's no joke. She did threaten to literally make him into jack o' lantern, so I suppose that is concerning. Yeah, it hits everybody. If it were capable of hitting him, it would have hit the, uh, it would have hit Astros as well, but it doesn't work on him, puny human. It doesn't work on him. Oh, where is he standing in relation to all of this? I need to know. Um, basically perpendicular, so he would be to your right, uh, essentially. Uh, oh, the douchebag center point. As, as the two sides coming together, he's just standing uh, there Actually, the as you glance over at him, um, when rain hits him, which is not common, again, it's only lightly drizzling and slowly starting to pick up, any raindrop that hits him sizzles. Yeah. Fucking knew it. Thankfully, Esme's wires are all crossed, so it's, I can have this in game now. <laughs> the fluster. Yes. Yeah. It's a little hit of like 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 it's hitting a skillet. Just pssst, instantly turns into steam when it hits him. I'm draw this guy right. Yes, I'm gonna draw all of them. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't a request. It was more like a that's gonna happen. This is it? this is life. I've right? already drawn him. Super hot murder boy. I've um, already drawn him. It's a sketch, but it's I've I've drawn him before. I ate everything. Let's see, Ruby, by contrast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let me, let me, sorry, this spell does a lot of stuff. Oh, good. Okay. Um, well, this is one thing, but it's a very long, complicated explanation as to what mm. the hell it does. Uh, she is, um, she, like, reaches onto her belt where you notice uh, she had been keeping this big coiled bullwhip. She pulls that sucker off uh, and is going to uh, 
actually, yeah, she sees um oh, she wanna yeah, she wants to go for Esme. Screw it. Yeah, she sees Esme over there yelling at people and is like, no, that's no good. And uh does this sort of like underhanded side swing uh towards Esme. Um she does not move before she does this. This is this is her, she's firing off an ability. The distance on it is simply a person you can see, so she's not gonna move. Hooray, magic. Do, 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 do. Are you having Castlevania playing in your head, or is it just me? No, I'm just... Damn it. Just... Can she see Esme? I thought you ducked behind Artyom. Mm. I mean... That's a good question. Artyom's big, but I could see it being like a... You know what? Sure. I'm yep. willing to accept that. I'm the GM. I get to make calls on things. I gotta remember that I have that power. I mean, uh, at most you, know you might want to give... Um... She's... She spends one AP to truck to the right. She still stays out of engagement, essentially, because uh, she can still do this at range. But yeah, she kind of gets out to, to try to get a, a clear view on her. Oh, did she just put them in a nice line? Mm -hmm. mm. E yes, she yep. kind of just did, actually. Yep. Um, and she rolled a 53. Hell yeah. So, boop, 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 boop. Oh, shit, looking at the wrong thing. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Uh, here we go. Your foe immediately suffers one d ten plus the, the, the damage. So, oh. blah, 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 blah. so there's no yeah, covering. it's just a spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just um. So it's it's crown of thorns is the spell. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah. Oh shit. So it looks like it just pops off. Like it's it's line of sight, and there's so there's no touch, so you can't like parry it. Yeah, which means it doesn't have a dodge, which means it just hits. Doesn't as far as I can tell, resistances. It might say it halfway through it. Which one is it in? Oh, up. Oh, you're right. Hang on. Crown of Thorns is I your think. Your foe can. Your mm. yeah. Uh, crown of it's on. Uh, shit. I don't, I'd have to go look up where it is. Your foe can successfully resist with a resolve test when this spell is cast. So yes. So she succeeds. Give me a resolve test. Uh. All right. So it's just the straight. And side. this was a routine for her. Or wait, no. No, it's only, for you, only works for counterspelling. Yeah. That's only counterspelling. Anyway, it's yeah. So it's standard. Side. Yep. Um. Success. Sick. Okay. I think it just means nothing happens. It just means nothing happens. Okie doke. Uh, yeah, so uh, she's coming around, and like it, it's clear that she's aiming for your leg, and but the 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 whip sort of like travels along the ground, Ooh. and we see it like kick up a of spray of water. Run the temples will power in addition it's, negative ten base chance to all skill tests for the duration. It's one of the ones yeah. I'm looking at to pick up. Yeah. It's pretty brutal. It's, um, it's, and it just, it's an upgraded magic missile. Yeah, basically. But magic um, and, you can't like you just take it. Yeah, yeah you, you can't, can't resist, resist it. Basically. Uh yeah, and it, it hits it just whoosh, hits the ground. There's like a spray of water that comes up, but uh you manage to like actually it's a res it's a resolve test, so I, I think it's really more like it gets your leg, but you kind of like wrench it free a little bit and it doesn't really like hit you and, and hurt. Uh and that's her action. That's all she gonna do. It is back to uh y'all for your final action of this round. Artyom. It Me. is my turn. Artyom. Do I go for setup? Or do I go for hurt? They're going to have two activations after this, so. Yeah. So. Okay, I'm going to first I'm going to give I liked I liked what we did last time with this. So the uh, furious spirit technique. I'm going to go ahead and try and give because with her explosive. Oh, because she's behind you. That works. I mean, you're both within range. Mm -hmm. What was your next option? What was your What was your your thing? The D six for your. Because so it's, it's it. I can give a D six. I don't know. I no oh. longer do fury die for my uh, unique attack. Okay. D ten, not a D six. Mm -hmm. That's right. So. One I could either do that or. Hmm. Do you have anything that cuts down how many actions they have? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, really? actually I could use my. I could use my critical art at that point. Because if you're if they have a bunch of actions after this, if you can Should I stun one of them? Sure. 
Okay. By all means. Wait, why am I giving you advice? <laughs> Actually, to be fair, they don't want to fight you, so... So I'm going to change it up. Instead of doing the Fury of Spirit thing, he's going to go right for the drug dealer. Man. Um, Pick him up, put him down. Let's go. Siberian Variable Art. He's going to reach in. Hmm? Uh, it, it looks like he's lunging for the waist. Okay. Uh, is this on Caleb or Jan? Because you're in... You're in you're yeah, in I'm in with both of them. Both of them. Yeah. Uh... Caleb is the one in between us. Jan is the one right in front of you that immediately got in your face. Yeah. And went... Uh. I think I'm going to put Jan down easier. I don't think his... Uh, I don't think his shit is He's as... in peril, and uh, depending on what happens, I might try to hit him again with it. Yeah, sure. All right, so I'm going to go for him. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is... 60... Yeah, they were just trying to get back to the building it. after the fire. <laughs> All right. I believe you do get a resistance on this one, though. Okay. So let me double check. Sure, sure. I'm starting to slouch a bit. Eh. Proper posture is very important. Although I might be out of frame now. Resist with coordination. Coordination? Okay. <sighs> All right, Jan, let's coordinate. Oh, actually, he's pretty good at that. Okay. Yeah, because he's the he's the quick one. Damn. And he rolled a five. Damn. Good job, Jan. <laughs> so, what was the what was the attempt here? What we were trying to get done? Oh, there? he was gonna go for uh uh the the his lariat, but. Instead of, uh, he wasn't able to get the grip on the wrists, so he's going to instead move in. Yeah, this kid is surprisingly wiry. His punch wasn't much, but he was like, I don't want to get hit, and he's really good at not getting hit. He got close like, nope, enough. Fuck that. This kid knows how to duck and weave. He's got goggles. That means you know he goes fast. Uh, goggles means fast. So he's going to step in and uh, gonna try and slip an arm up around his shoulder. Aw, I'm going to just like, hey, let's be friends, buddy. All right, so that is a 59 on my 65 athletics test to put him in a chokehold. Oh, God. He has to resist with athletics. Athletics is going to be more of a problem for him. <laughs> this does peril, so I'm helping you. Oh, God. And this is against Jen? Yeah. Uh, Depending on, you're going to keep the chokehold on him. Yeah. yeah. 52 ain't going to cut it, homie. Like, mm. uh, to think yeah, you get your chokehold. Point him in the direction of where you're firing. <laughs> you <can laughs> because you're shield. holding him, I don't think I'll be able to use it. Because you would All take right. the damage as well. you would take, you would I'm take the, the one that has the AoE... Uh, controlled. Yeah, I understand yeah. that. I'm at the he point where I'm boy. like, fucking That'd give it to me. Oh. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, it will do. It's it. fine. Uh, so yeah, you, you he he blew his roll like just barely, but he missed it. Okay, so um, that means he's going to take a D10 plus my brawn bonus in physical peril. In physical peril. Okay, let's see how bad it is, and then we can describe what happened. Oh, oh, eight. Eight'll eight's a step. Eight okay. puts him in imperiled. So two of them are imperiled now. Jesus. I've uh, added negatives. Yes. Yeah, because you you only had to break over a six on this dude. Now, here's the thing. When he activates, mm -hmm. all he can do is resist until I release the chokehold. Ooh. So he's out okay. of the fight, too, until I release him. That's the other big thing about it. Oh, so he's now like, he's, he's not choked. fight. He can't take an activation. And if he does and fails, he can't activate at all. Like, that just consumes an activation. Fucking hell. Okay. So, so yeah, he, so he slid in. Like, whoa. Uh kinda like the way uh uh kinda like for, for that uh STO rock bottom looking thing. Oh yeah, okay. But instead he reaches across, grabs his own forearm, and presses it up against his neck while grabbing him behind the neck on his uh on his shirt. And oh Jesus, yeah. Tight, it pulls, like, yeah. It's just and, and you hear this poor kid, uh this poor fellow freshman just go ha ah, ah. 
as you start, as you just get this poor kid in just a chokehold. God. Uh, and I, I think as his eyes kind of bulge and as, as mortal peril enters the, the equation, um, we see um, Asteros just kind of, it's just this very, this smile, just there's just a little more tooth to it. Hmm. Good. But we could make this more interesting. And uh, he opens up his hand and rakes it across the ground in your general direction. And the ground just kind of like splits like oh, like through and around you, not really hitting anyone, but like creating this awful rocky, muddy mess underneath you. And there's a crack of thunder and the rain just starts pissing down into this mud and rock. Oh, is it now hard to rain? Hey, I'm glad we and looked that up. And that is where we're going to end our episode for tonight. <gasps> Class dismissed. Okay, so end of the Discord. Uh, more on that soon. My favorite part of tonight hasn't happened yet because after the credits roll for the episode, we fade back in. And um, we see a car pull up to the front gate to the little security checkpoint. Uh, it's a very nice, very, very expensive car. And uh, there's someone at the little security booth is standing there. It's 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 not outside of the school grounds. They don't have the referee, so it's an actual dude like in a little security guy hat, and he's got his little badge on. And he opens up the window and he kind of like looks out and he's like, "I'm sorry, sir. Did you say cake delivery, <laughs> sir? Who are you?" And we get the reverse shot, and the the window kind of rolls down, and he just looks up with a grin. You know who I am. That was my favorite moment of tonight. Oh, it's a post credit. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> uh, again, uh, uh, I forgot how we outro. We say who the hell we are. Uh, I, my name is Fox. With me, as ever, has been. Uh, no. Sorry, you. Yes. You. <laughs> <laughs> you just what? ruined everyone. Wait a second. Okay, so. Hmm? Fox. I, I, I have been Fox. No. And with me has been. <laughs> you can do it. We believe it. All right. So this is no. Friend. I'm Conry. I'm Cassandra Ling. Uh, and, you know, I think I'd like to, I've, I've just encouraged everyone to always remain or stay evil. Good night, folks.